right back down the other side. How far will you go? With no guarantee, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your first Super Sunday show of 2023. My name's Martin. We've got Andy as well. Hello. And uh, Mr. Matty Smith. Good morning, everyone. And a happy new year. Happy new year, everyone. How are we all doing? Very warm. Welcome to your Super Sunday show here from Manchester Airport. We're going to be live. We're going to be... Um, quite strict on our finish time today um, wrapping up at 1.30 because Mr uh, Matty Boy Smith has got a few things to do this afternoon our cameraman and uh, you're out looking at cars aren't you Matt I am, I'm car hunting today got a few a few visits booked in a few uh, few cars to go and see yep I've been with so what, what did you say? You said you got a Lamborghini, a Ferrari, and, and <laughs> yeah, a Mercedes. I had to get rid of the Bentley last week, so uh, yeah. what a shame! I've got to get a replacement for that. So yeah, <laughs> yeah it's a couple of a uh, couple of months old that Bentley, isn't it? You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's got it. like twenty thousand miles on the clock now, so it's no use to me. <laughs> <laughs> very well, welcome to the show. We've got support coming in already. Thank you very much, guys. Wow, loads of support coming in already. What's going on? What is going on? Welcome everyone to the Sunday show here on Airline is live 4k of course as always uh, here at manchester we're going to aim to bring you all our shows in 4k matt smith up on the camera today matt you probably noticed there's a bit of a different setup today absolutely and it makes life easier because you don't even have to like move your head anymore you can just chill and you know, get it. comfy and just need a stool up here no? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mate, you know a couple of times i've been on the camera up there yep i've been thinking this would be perfect for like a nice round kind of bar stool yeah, style yeah, seat yeah, yeah. To, yeah. to go on there, you yeah, know what I mean? Absolutely. Why not? One day. But if you're just tuning in to the show, a very warm welcome. Welcome to everyone watching in on Twitch as well. And uh, yes, something to explain for the Twitch crew. Um, so unfortunately, if you want to watch in 4K Twitch, guys... You need to head over to youtube.com forward slash airliners live slash youtube.com 
forward slash airliners live if you want to watch in the glorious 4k um twitch does not support 4k at the moment guys so um it is a big nay for twitch i'm afraid it's a shame but we nearly i'll be honest guys we nearly dropped twitch altogether but we managed to find a workaround to get you guys a feed so at least you're uh, you're seeing something on twitch um so um yeah hope the picture's coming through okay um yeah it, i mean it's it seems to be fine on twitch it's just um 720p is the best we can do uh but like martin said if you really want the 4k ness you've got um youtube um and if you want to stay in the twitch chat then you can do that as by well all me- i mean by all means guys you can open the youtube video feed and then still talk in the twitch chat that's, yeah. that's whatever you want to do um but we had some support coming in um, from Mr. Lee Davies, first of all. Jump seat member for 33 months. Wow. <laughs> Thank you very much, Lee. Hope you're doing well, mate. Um, has returning for 11 months, nearly a full year of membership. And uh, Paul Carew as well for seven months of support, saying loved every minute of it. Happy New Year. Thank you very much, Paul. Cheers, everyone. And Matt, if you do get like too cold, I know that wind is pretty sharp today should be okay mate I think I'm nice ha- and wrapped up today yeah I'm happy to jump on whenever That's yes morning cool. everyone we are all good here in the Airliners Live studio today here at the Runway Visitor Park Manchester Airport broadcasting live on your Sunday morning till about 1.30 in the afternoon let's get some names in the chat shall we and if you're a VIP in the YouTube chat give us some wave emotes and we'll uh, we'll see what VIPs there are in regards to that uh, almost a thousand viewers already wow that's wow. Uh, that's pretty nice that's what we like to see guys thank you very much for uh, tuning in this morning been live for seven minutes <laughs> what's everyone been up to this weekend then let us know in the chat and I'll give you all a good reason to stick around because we have some um, very cool aircraft in today uh, not only do we have currently pinging up on the ground at Manchester and looks like it's completed its pushback Jet 2 Flight 917 heading up to Tenerife South it is a 757 uh, but later on, it's pretty windy here today as well. It's, it is, not, isn't it? Not the uh, not the calm. It's blowing the uh, thingy, the thingy monitor, the small monitor around like hell. Yeah, we'll be oh, is it? Yeah, that's why I'm a bit. I mean, we can. Um, if that becomes we can, an issue, we can bypass that if that becomes an issue. Yeah. Yeah, it just means you have the then bob your head. The bob your head. Yeah. Get your bob on. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we have the Q8 Airways in that retro esque. Oh, okay, nice, nice. Coming in, and uh, we've also got a. Um, a the, obviously the Emirates A380, and today rocking what Matt got an amazing photo of the other day. Did. The um, the Smarties uh, Dubai Expo special, mm-hmm. or should I say, Destination Dubai these days? It's known as. Yeah, it's good to uh, it's good to see that. It's an awesome picture as well, Matt. Cheer, really, mate, really good picture. Yeah, you just and, uh, to share it. On I had to I had to nick it for our Instagram. Yeah, like, Matt, you know that picture? Can I uh, can I grab that, mate? It's a great spot, Ringway Road. You know, when, oh, you, when the lights are right, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, I love it. I mean, it's kind of like when we uh, when we were in jet parks. Absolutely, yeah. The light was just perfect. Was perfect. But Ringway Road, you just kind of get just that little bit more of a head-on yeah. view, which is uh, which is definitely worth definitely worth doing. Um, but we had. See, I'm getting confused. Here. Are we going from the top or are we going from the bottom? YouTube. We're going from the bottom, aren't we? Um, Matt Healy returning for nine months of membership. Thank you very much, Matt. Same morning, gang. Here's to another month. Thank you very much, Matt. Great to have you with us. Um, we had uh, Yorkshire Rose returning for 13 months of VIP membership. And let's get some gifty emotes in the chat for Mr. Mark O'Kane for gifting five Airliners Live memberships to the community. Going to Martin Seb. Uh, Sonja, Sonia Pickering and uh, Flo604 and Neon Moose456 all getting gifted subs from uh, Mark O'Kane. Thank you, Mark. That's really, uh, really kind of you to do that. And uh, if you do want to gift some subs to the community, guys, and you're watching on a PC or laptop, just hit the dollar symbol and click gifted memberships. It's an awesome way to not only support the channel, but also give back to the community as well. And uh, Daniel Soy as well, a brand new first class VIP. Let's get some VIP and wave emotes in the chat for our brand new VIP, Daniel. This Ryanair flight heading off to Dublin this morning, 
Yeah, cheers once again, Mark. That was a huge uh, gift drop. Uh, and uh, if you're in the community and you got a gifted membership from Mark, make sure you say thank you, of course. Thank you very much, mate. Yeah, really, really does help the channel that as well. Um, and if you, anyone who's watching on Android, is anybody in the chat watching on Android on YouTube? I'm not asking you to gift subs, but if you could click the dollar symbol and just see if the gift membership option is there for you, because it is supposed to be coming to Android. Any, It should be there by now, but it, any day now, really. So if anyone's watching on Android, if you can just hit the little dollar symbol and just see if the gift sub option is there. I'm just curious because it's definitely uh, late if it isn't there already. Loopy saying 1.2k watching already. Awesome. Welcome everyone to the Super Sunday show here on Airliners Live. Uh, If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you hit the like button of course. And actually we're live on Facebook as well today just to see how how that rocks and rolls. Uh, I mean I'm just having a quick look over there. There's a couple of people watching on Facebook. Um, So if you are watching on the old Facebook Give us a hello. It's not there yet. Okay. Come on, YouTube, man. They said... Didn't they say any day now, like, three weeks ago? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, got this... Thanks uh, for checking, guys. Because I'm not... I've, I've... I've switched to the dark side. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm on... Uh, I'm on Apple. I'm on Apple. Got this Virgin Atlantic A330, 300 taxi and gouts. This isn't on radar for me. <clears throat> And not far behind, we have, I didn't even know we had these still, an air tanker A330-200. Aha. Uh, Is that operating for TUI today? Yes. Yeah. Although, it's super confusing because on, on like the app, the, the photo has the Jet 2 branding. I'm going to assume it has no branding on it. <coughs> Might have TUI branding, but I doubt it. Um, we also had Wayne Picton returning for 11 months of support saying morning guys looking forward to Matt's camera work today and the stunning replays um, well today there is not going to be any replays just because um, the PC that we were using before Christmas to run the Super Sunday show um, it was causing us a few issues so that's in the office currently undergoing testing guys and we're hoping to bring that back to you for a test on Wednesday's show so um, today's show will be a nice chilled sort of, I don't know, kind of like a midweek midweek vibe. And uh, Joanna Smith returning for 11 months. Welcome back. Uh, saying, can't believe it's been nearly a year. I know it's gone so fast, 2022, hasn't it? Really, really fast. Wow. Um, Lee Williams returning for 19 months of membership. Great to be with the best live show, Airliners Live. I was a member first on Facebook, then moved to YouTube. Have a fab day, Matt, Andy, and Martin. Thank you very much, Lee. Yeah, it's awesome Cheers, to Lee. see people who've kind of moved with us. I mean, obviously, we always try and be in the best place for the channel, and at the moment, that definitely, definitely is YouTube. The, what they're doing is uh, is fantastic. Out of all of the platforms, we're definitely uh, most happy with YouTube at the moment. I agree. Um, so, just taxi out we just seen before was the Jet 2 757 heading off to Tenerife for South. Uh, as I mentioned, we've also got. Lufthansa. We're. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're using a tiny screen down here to try and see what's going on. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> what were you looking at? I was trying to work out what that was. Like, was that I mean, oh, something on your project? You can text over it. You, uh, you can put your thing on. It's probably going to be a plane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just for the last show ever without the uh, big setup um, of this kind, we have maybe a, a maybe don't say ever. Yeah, we don't we yeah. don't want to jinx. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we um, <clears throat> have quite a small setup. It's quite a windy day today, though. Um, so as you can see, some of the arrivals are a bit are a bit twitchy. <laughs> um, but it is an A319 today, a little sporty bus, and uh, following that in. Um, is the Q8 Retro. Oh. <laughs> That's not going to open, is it? <laughs> By you? Oh. No, I'm trying to hear it, because I don't get, like, an accurate sound when, you know, when the glass is there. Because <laughs> I find when you're up there, you can, like, you have to, you don't, you realise you have to talk over the aircraft, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But whereas when you're in here, you kind of just, like, it sounds like you're in a different... Yeah. 
Hi, I'm David. I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of glad as well. <laughs> right, we got this uh, Lufthansa A319. This is coming from Frankfurt this morning. Flight 940. A 450 nautical mile flight, and it's a little bit late coming in as well. It's about an hour and 45 late. Lining up on runway 23 right is Virgin Atlantic Flight 75 off to Orlando, A33300. This particular route over the summer will be operated by apparently two A350 1000s with Virgin Atlantic. Hi, that's what we want. Yeah, they'll be re returning the second daily service, this time to Leisure Config A350s. So I think we'll probably see the return of um, GV Lib and GV uh, GVV. Should I say? Info on a Twitch chat from Coolboard is saying the Isle of Man, uh, Logan Air, I think, um, is heading back, diverted back to the Isle of Man. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Hey, nice one, Gracie's World. I'm really glad you like your uh, calendar. Completely sold out of those now. sound from the A330 300. We've also got, if you look to the left, Matt, maybe on approach, you can just about see... The Kuwait, is it? The Kuwait, that's right. Next to land, yeah. And we've got a bit more support coming into the channel, which I'll try and catch up on before that arrives. We have Paul Reynolds returning for four months of membership, saying, looking forward to another great show. Currently watching with my two-year-old, Hallie, who uh, loves anything to do with planes. Well, very warm welcome to both of you guys. Morning, guys. Thanks very much for tuning in. Mucker sending in a £2 super chat. Thank you very much, dude. Awesome uh, donation coming in to the channel. Yeah, disclaimer, ladies and gents. If there's any dodgy camera work this morning, it's just because I'm getting used to this uh, this little monitor. But yeah, yeah, this is the now. first show. And just made a few minor that. adjustments, so should be okay now. Cool. Beluga on PC ret uh, returning hey. for uh, membership saying great show guys thank you very much uh, Malky Stadar crew seat member returning for nine months saying uh, morning everyone celebrating with one of Captain Mark's in-flight gourmet meals did anyone hey. see them in the VIP oh, line good grief. I would not be calling them gourmet guys there's one of them right and you genuinely couldn't tell you just couldn't what tell it what it was it was yeah. wallpaper paste or like <laughs> there was dude a, there was a Few like that one that made me laugh was like it was like 95 percent rice with yeah. like a little bit of sauce. <laughs> yeah, one piece of yeah, one bit of sauce in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> it's like what is going? What is the point? <laughs> the joys of the eye, eye life. Eh? Everyone thinks. Uh, Everyone being thinks a pilot against, is yeah. what it's all about. Yeah. And then you look at that. I'd literally rather have a sandwich. Absolutely, yeah, I would. Here we go. Q8 A330 touching down. In the awesome livery, this was uh, one of our most liked posts on YouTube, this livery. Oh, yeah. I think it's definitely in the top five. Just suits that airframe as well, though, doesn't it? Yeah. Beautiful spray as well. Oh, we're going to get a head on here. Oh, oh lovely. Come on, come on. Come on. You can do it. Yeah. Yes. There you go, Matt. Nice and uh, close, I think. I reckon. Yeah, yeah just like get wide enough for the first, for the engines in there, I'd say. Yeah, perfect. So we'll follow it all the way. Enjoy this in 4K, guys.
we zoom out to show that full livery, give us a yay or nay in the chat, guys. It's definitely a yay from us. Absolutely. Definitely 100% a yay from us. And you're just catching in the background briefly the air tank A330 taxi and gout as well. Blank. Casper. Yeah. A 330 uh, kicking out a nice bit of uh, fumes in the morning. Yes. And there she is, the air tanker A330 owned by an um, organisation called, called Air Tanker. They operate uh, A330s and vehicles mainly for the likes of the, uh, the, the Air Force. We also had Bell Juice returning 28 months of support. Wow, mate, that's a long time. Executive club member as well. Wow. Saying they're present but lurking and not chatting today. Absolutely fine, mate. As long as you're enjoying the show, Bell Juice, however you want to enjoy it, you enjoy it, mate. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. And, long, long, uh, long term supporter, uh, Bell yeah, Juice. He is. He absolutely is. And. Uh, uh, Michael Phillips returning for four months saying happy new year from New Zealand guys you inspired me to try my hand at spotting and photography at oh, my local yes. airport Love to keep up that. the uh, awesome work well Michael if you're not in the VIP lounge already mate Get in the VIP lounge on Facebook and share your pictures, dude. I'd love to see them. I'm really uh, glad that we uh, we inspired you to get out taking some pictures, mate. That's, I love to uh, hear that, mate. Stuff like that. Yeah, that's awesome. And uh, Phil Jono returning for 21 months says, Forgot to cancel my subscription. <laughs> Only joking, he says, Phil. <laughs> Welcome back, dude. Welcome back. Eccleston Angel also returning for 15 months of membership saying hi boys 15 months wow amazing and after this easy jet we've had some gifties coming in as well which we'll give a massive shout out to Finn from Amsterdam another sporty bus A319 yep and uh, this will be followed by the departure of a Jetsu 757 ok yeah I've got my eye on him here awesome Hey Matt, welcome dude, great to see you in the chat. Thanks for stopping in dude, friends over from Slid Squad. Oh yo. Hey, welcome Matt. Seven five seven now on the roll. Heading off to Tenerife. Only four of these operating at the moment, which is uh, a bit of a shame. Mm. Massive, massive 757. Thank you to Laurie M for gifting the five airliners live memberships to the community. Thank you very much. They've gone to A.D. Harrison, uh, Mr. Mark Langston, oh. Alex Nadler, <laughs> uh, Gracie's World, and Joanne Hartley all receiving gifted memberships from Laurie dropping five to the community. Thank you so much, Laurie. Gifted memberships, guys, really, really do help the channel. Um, so thank you very, very much. And uh, Eccleston Angel with the $5 super chat. Thank you very much for that saying, hey boys, how are you? I'm trying to stay warm. It's minus three in upstate New York. Fingers crossed um, I stay well so I can spend the summer in Manchester. Yeah, I hope you do. I I've seen uh, you guys have had some pretty nasty weather over there recently. That's crazy. I hope, uh, hope you're managing to... Uh, stay warm and uh, cope with the, the weather because it's pretty bad snowstorms wasn't it that was that was what was going on in New yeah, York yeah. it's Ryanair flight 3119 coming in from Marseille today Number Jaguar seven. 79 as well on Twitch hello welcome Aaron Morse with a Twitch Prime sub as well. Thank you, dude. Really appreciate that. 
We've got another 757 ping in. Ooh. Oh, not nice. nice. Have we? I don't see it just yet. No, neither do I. Keep an eye on. We've got the air tank at A330-200. Uh, looks like it's lining up. Ah, it's the arrival. Iceland Air 757, nice. four minutes out. Yes, that's just uh, about to turn on to the final leg of the approach. Oh, I keep looking at the Metar because it hasn't updated yet. The last update was half an hour ago, saying a five knot wind. Mm. It's like, no. <laughs> it's definitely not, is it? Definitely more than that. I'm going to keep checking. Definitely feels like more up here. Yeah. I hope John. Yeah, it's fair, fair, fair breeze today. Yeah, I have been watching uh, a bit of Sid Squad recently. They do uh, live shows from uh, Sydney Control Tower these days, which is pretty nuts. That wow. views uh, something else in it. Yeah, they're in their control tower. Yeah, yeah, they've got like a. Uh, Obviously, there's like floors to the to the uh, Sydney Control Tower. I think they're on like a floor underneath all the op operations and stuff. That is amazing, guys. Absolutely, the views, mate, are just oh, out mate, of this world. I'm made up for you guys. That's fantastic. Yeah, out of this world, the views. Wow, can you imagine that? Yeah, yeah. Two consecutive 380s dropping in yesterday. Oh, Beautiful. mate, that is you've hit the jackpot there, boys. Absolutely. Congratulations, mega. Boston. saying it's uh, 1707 so it's probably blocked by the trees a little bit the, yeah uh, wind it's, meter. there's no way it's just 7 knots there's no chance yeah and uh, Eccleston Angel sending in um, another £5 super chat thank you very much saying uh, at Christmas it went down to what no way wow. minus 50 degrees wow. C whoa <laughs> Where do you live? The north? What? The north? Minus 50. Mate, that's like them videos we've been watching on YouTube. Yeah, it is. Yeah, the... Uh, that's like... What is it? The acute skin. Uh, oh, I've been watching them. Have yeah, you been yeah. watching them? I've been watching them yeah. as well. They're getting recommended to everybody. Unbelievable. Yeah. Like, yeah. How they live in... Uh, it's like near it's near Russia isn't yeah, it yeah yeah it's, it's in like my, I watched one yesterday and this guy had like he was in in his living room like with his missus and stuff right. he just briefly opened the window like just a small window at the top of like the, the main window and he he like blowing hot air onto the window and it was like freezing up as soon as he'd blown it onto the window <laughs> just Mate. unbelievable like you're like what the hell's going on there well yeah. they had videos saying like how do we have a shower when it's minus yeah yeah and they have to go and get 70, their own ice minus and, 70 yeah. 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 and what they're doing it's mad guys if you've not seen it I, I will share it in the, uh, the it, IP really? lounge so what they do is the they have like a fire going in this room yeah, and right. they chuck the ice blocks on it and it basically makes this room into like a sauna yeah like a steam room Correct. so yeah. they don't have like a, a shower like we us, us lot have. yeah because they can't have running water can they because the, the pipes would just freeze Absolutely. exactly yeah. so running water. what they do is the steam goes on them and they try and like clean themselves with the steam and they only have a shower once a week they were saying That's because right, yeah. it's um, just the process as well of going through getting all the ice and everything else and yeah, yeah. They, 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 they shovel the ice, don't they, into like a big barrel yep. and then roll it into the shower and then just melt it. It's just, just, just the, the task of having a shower is like next level. It, like, it really just show you how, how much we take for granted and stuff like that, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. And you see the kids just walk into school, mate. Yeah. yeah. And like, you just think, wow. Minus 50, and they don't yeah. think nothing of it, they just think this Not is just bothered. normal. Yeah. Normal. And you were saying like they feed the kids quite a lot through the day mm. to keep their uh, energy up and that. Yeah, I, yeah. There was that one kid they followed with, they, like they they did like a documentary with one family, yeah. and the kid walked to school, and within like a minute of being outside, his eyebrows had frozen, yeah, yeah. and his eyelashes had frozen, yeah, it was crazy, you know, it's just like white eyebrows, yeah. But obviously the clothes they have there, man, are like next level. Yeah, that's interesting, Martin. Saying, I wonder if Jet Two will purchase their own A three thirties, because yeah, I mean to be honest, they only really use the two though, don't they? And with them putting the A321 Neos in, 
Mm. I don't really see much need for the 330, I don't think. No, neither do I, to be honest. Iceland Air on the uh, last uh, few hundred nice. feet. And we do have a brand new pingy moat, um, courtesy of new channel partner Radar Box. So if you want to uh, head over to Ray ba- Radar Box and get yourselves a uh, even a free account, guys, um, you can track all the movements coming in and out of Manchester. Just like we do here live, we're using that tool to um, let you know what's happening and what's pinging up and stuff like that. So check out Radar Box. Yeah, so I just looked. It's it's in Siberia in Russia. Yakutsk, it's called. Yeah. yeah. Current temperature right now is minus 38. Good grief. There's any days where it gets Makes very cold. Makes you think, doesn't it? Just yeah. make you think, doesn't it? Monday, it's going to be minus 48. <laughs> wow. But it dry, gets down to like minus 80 and stuff then, minus 80, minus 90 and stuff. Yeah, sorry, I'm looking at highs here. <laughs> I'm looking at highs. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at highs. <laughs> Mr. Optimistic. Yeah, 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 I'm looking yeah. at the wrong side here. There you go. Second five, I have to do a bit there. I know. Finally down though. Will it use them strong brakes to slow down quick enough? No way. <laughs> nah. They have some insanely powerful mechanical brakes on the 757s. Way stronger than, than they need to be. But that's made the rapid exit taxiway just to our right there. The Jet 2757 coming in today from um, Reykjavik. Iceland Air. Sorry, I said Jet 2, didn't I? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, Iceland Air. There's loads of heavies pinging at the moment on the ground. Awesome. We got a Virgin Atlantic A33300, a 2E767. Oh, nice. Singapore A350. Uh, well, the Q weights, but that's obviously just come in, so that's still taxiing in. So you have three heavy departures coming up in the next few moments, as well as a Jet 2 A321. Hey, Rocket Wolf, great to see you, mate. Hope you're doing well. Oh, hello. Hey, Rocket Wolf, if you, uh, if you want to be watching in 4K, mate, make sure you head over to youtube.com forward slash airliners live. We're streaming in 4K. How's it coming through to everyone, guys? Let us know in the chat. It's uh, certainly been exciting to see from, uh, from our side. Really, really glad we did it. I agree, Mark. Same bring back to 757. Yeah. Yes, please. Definitely. Today, rocking the classic Iceland Air scheme as well. I don't think they have the new scheme on the 7.5s, do they? How do you think that would look on the new uh, uh, scheme on the 5 land? I think they do have I, it, you know. On the do they? Or, 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 am I thinking of the... Yeah, the Max 9. Because they have the 7.5s and the 7.6.7s as well in their fleet, and I think they're all still in the classic. Although they do, I think they do have the specials, though, like the uh, Glacier specials. Yeah, of course. The, the, the oh, no, I was thinking of the one with the black tail. Oh, yeah. I think, didn't that happen as a result of uh, a National Geographic partnership? Quite possibly. That does ring the bell, you know. Yeah, yeah the 7.5.7 with the black tail. I, I like that one, you know. It, it, it looks kind of Lufthansa-esque, though. I thought, yeah. <laughs> 8K next year, Michael. <laughs> no, we need, to, we need to pay off this equipment first, mate. Yeah. But no, it's cool. We're, we're loving it. We always want to uh, do the very best we can on the channel. I don't know what the highest resolution YouTube supports is. Does it support 8K yet? I think it does support... I mean... Never could Google of that. I am interested to see if HDR would do anything for us. Uh, yeah. Um, YouTube supported. Um, and Aneka Greenwood, uh, welcome back. Four months of Airliners Live Business Class membership saying, uh, 
come down to the RVP for the first time today. Hey. Very excited. Hey, I hope you have a great time, cool. Kaneka. Yeah. When we picked, fin- uh, picked a chilly day. <laughs> you yeah. don't really have, yeah. yeah. Yeah, when we finish the live show, feel free to come and say hello. Um, yeah, so the highest resolution that YouTube supports at the moment, I assume this is live as well, um, is, uh, yeah, 8K, which is wow. 7680 by 4320. Really? I mean, our camera doesn't even do 8K anyway. No. So Not many cameras do, do they? No. <laughs> you have to get, like, you know, like a red... A red helium. Um, sorry, is it red? Hydrogen or helium? I forget what they use. We got one arriving, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's hydrogen, I think, they use it in their camera sensors. How do companies choose if they're going to use Airbus or Boeing? Do they take the planes out for test flights? I mean, I think it's usually down to... I mean, existing companies are usually down to the rest of their fleet because they don't want to have to retrain all their pilots Correct. into a completely different variant but as plus, plus regards on an, to uh, plus on an engineering aspect as well like once you've got one lot of aircraft and you've got all the replacement gear for maintenance, it and maintenance exactly yeah but for new um, for new airlines I guess it must partly come down to cost of the aircraft and don't forget and some, some, some pilots, airlines use both variants of like uh, bus and Boeing you know? yeah yeah, I think it is. There's like a cost-benefit analysis. What routes you're doing, yeah. you know, what will be the cheapest for your particular... Because, you know, between Airbus and Boeing, you know, they're, they're obviously very different with uh, even like a 73 versus an 320 you know, like over a long period of time, it's like, uh, you know, one will be more efficient and one will be more... Uh, it depends on the, the route length and the maintenance, like you said, and it, there's a lot of factors to it. Yeah. And Rocket Wolf's saying, I'm watching side-by-side side Rocket Wolf's a long-term switch viewer. Yep. And I can't see the difference. But Rocket Wolf, you've definitely got YouTube in 4K, right? Because one is 720p and the other is 4K. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and also make sure you have um, a obviously a device that can do 4K as well. Like if I guess if you're watching on like a a phone screen or um, you unless know, like, it is just a metadata issue. Yeah. And you and Twitch is actually receiving 4K, but I doubt it. I don't think Twitch even supports 4K. Can you, can you, can see, the res- 4K you can see the bitrate on Twitch though? If you open up Twitch, you can go on the stats and I'll tell you the bitrate. So it does. might be like a mega high bitrate. <laughs> yeah, they have to run it. They had, didn't they? Had a limit of they, had, they used to have it six thousand, didn't they? The bitrate. Yes. Limit on. But I don't know if it still is. I'm, I'm very out of tune with 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 Twitch these days I used to be obsessed with it. I used to watch hours of Twitch every day I've got tons and tons of hours in Twitch yeah oh, man if you're a cow it's getting 12 and a half thousand ah. mate is Twitch getting 4k it just doesn't say that it is wow. maybe try uh, I'd be surprised yeah, at that hover over the player and then sorry guys we're doing a little bit of investigation here research and then there's the stats there you go back Ryanair about to uh, leap off 23 right here at Manchester. Could be a metadata thing. That Ryanair 737-800 heading off to Oslo this morning. A flight time of a couple of hours and... Well, it's about 540-mile uh, journey. Um, I was just looking at the weather in Oslo. It's the same temperature in, in Oslo as is here. Oh, right. You usually think of, like, Scandinavia being, like... Freezing. Freezing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And to be fair... At least in the minuses, don't you? Mm. Yeah, like, you think of, like, Lapland and, and all that, like... But then when you go north into, like, the northmost points of, like, Sweden and things, like, our, our developer, Zach, lives quite north, doesn't he? Yeah. And the weather that they get is bananas. Yeah, it's mental. Virgin 3.30, about to... Uh, yeah, here we go. Back. Yeah, you should definitely be able to see a difference, unless there's something weird going on on Twitch. I don't know, guys, to be honest. Yeah. Anyway, YouTube is the place to be. Rock and yeah. Get over to YouTube. Virgin Atlantic A330 roll into Bridgetown.
and um, Graham saying hi your new 4k pictures are brilliant and make watching so much more enjoyable your channel is definitely the best with great information and friendly chat that's awesome hey. to hear Graham cheers Graham thank you very stick much. around in the chat I hope you uh, you get yourself a gifted membership at some point Graham today as well um, YouTube does seem to uh, give them out to people who uh, are active in the chat if yep. you are trying to get one of those gifted memberships but if you're tuning in to airliners live don't forget guys we do rely on your support to bring you these streams um obviously with everything that's going on in the uk at the minute uh times are tough but uh, even one and two pound donations go very very far or if you can gift memberships to the community that's probably the the best way to support the channel at the moment because as i say it supports us but it also gives people in the chat a, uh, a free VIP membership as well and uh, as I say we do rely on your support to keep these shows completely free of charge other channels do put their chat behind paywalls or certain shows behind paywalls but not on our channel guys not here not going to do that here Ringway I just seen that message I, I just did a bit of investigating yes wow that's crazy so last night you know we, we were always complaining about the Emirates A380 being late oh the delay yeah yeah okay. yeah so last Last night, um, flight 20, which is the one that goes out at like half eight ish, meant to, didn't go out <laughs> till 1 39 in the morning. <laughs> Excuse me. Good oh grief. Days. That is nuts. That's a delay and a half. Isn't it? That is a big delay. Massive, massive delay, that. I want, does anyone know the reason for that? Because that's not just like passenger processing or, or, like, or something. What small. time did it come in? Was it late in? Yeah, let's have a look at that as well. That's a good idea. That's and, normally uh, a, a decent uh, enough, enough reason for it to be pushed back that long. Yeah, I agree. Eccleston, Angel, thank you very much for the $2 super chat saying uh, we still have lots of 757s in the US and 767s. Yeah, you guys still have a lot of those, you're right. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah. one thing we do have here just about to taxi out is the 767. Oh. Thanks, Steve. Glad you're enjoying the show. Same to you as well, Andrew. Yeah, so the the Emirates flight last night came in 20 minutes late, so it wasn't like <laughs> enough to warrant. Um, Ringway saying big technical fault with the aircraft hydraulic leak through the landing gear. All oh, right, uh, which took a good four plus hours to fix. Right, wow. could be. thanks for the info, mate. Yeah, big info. Brilliant that. info. That. Yeah, thank you. And as Martin mentioned, the 76 on the taxi. I think this is the uh, Emerald Air. Back to touch. David tuning in from a late Sunday night in New Zealand saying hey. Happy New Year to you all. Keep up the great work. Welcome, David. Same to you, David. Welcome. And, and a massive, huge thanks to Dave Nicholas. Thank you, Dave. That's awesome, mate, for gifting um, five Airliners Live memberships to the community. That's really kind of you, mate. Thank you very much. Wow. Thank hey, you. thanks a lot, mate. They've been gifted to Michael B. Um, videos from the air. Um, Zam H oops it's flicked forward Zam H uh, Jaden Edgley and uh, Keith Peverly all received in gifted memberships from Dave Nicholas thank you very much dude that's very very kind of you and uh, Stuart Malloy uh, with the five pound super chat saying great quality picture now lads keep it up thank you dude this is Lingus flight 36 12 coming in from Belfast City Airport today TR 72. Sorry to hear that, Barry. I hope um, I hope they get that sorted for Linda soon, mate. That's not good. Not good, that. Hope they get it sorted, pal. The rain has started falling here at Manchester as well. Is everything okay up there, Matt? Absolutely, yeah. Just make sure, obviously, the screen and the little battery stay dry as well. Yeah, of course. Everything's wrapped up here, mate. Yeah, cool. Thank you. 
Gary Birch tuning in from sunny Cyprus, certainly drier than Manchester. Uh, feed looking great today. Nice one, Gary. Yeah, Thank you. Superb. And um, Rocket Wolf is the six-month gift subscription from Airliners Live has entered number five. That's right, yeah. I think we, we gifted you six months after you went nuts on our stream, didn't we, yeah, Rocket yeah. Wolf? Oh, Mega. Yeah. Um, Lufthansa, flight 2500, coming in from Munich, an A320-200. And all in short is the Singapore A350-900. Oh, this is going to be great. Um, and Paul's saying a lovely uh, lovely noise from the ATRs. Yeah, they do make a great sound, those. And we got a brand new VIP in the community, Jay, um, Jay Bocock. I hope I said that right. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jay. Welcome to VIP, dude. And Lucy saying, I got all kinds of Airliners Live merch for Christmas. Couldn't be more made up. Oh, that's fantastic. Awesome. Lucy. Yeah. <clears throat> I've seen a few people posting that they got merch for Christmas. Somebody even got a Airliners Live notebook and pen. Which, obviously, they're all long gone now, but... Well... 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 well. <laughs> this is going to cause chaos. Uh-oh. How can we do... Can't do this for early you wait for this uh, Singapore we'll get this let this Lufthansa go past and I'm going to mute and speak to Andrew uh -oh. stand by ok Singapore rolling What a 42. Thank you very much for the two months of tier one sub. A350 rolling. Off to Houston. Archer there. The A350-900. Just a quick uh, A380 update. It's now over the UK. Emirates Flight 17 should be arriving in less than half an hour. Mega. Today sporting the Destination Dubai Special. Smarties. Smarties, as we like to call it. Smarties. Yeah, looking smart as well. And uh, Debs, welcome back for three months of Airliners Live membership, saying uh, good morning. I missed watching this show on a Sunday morning. We missed doing them as well um, over Christmas. Yeah, it was. Uh, I was looking forward to getting back for sure. And uh, Eccleston Angel again with a five dollar super chat. Thank you so much for your support. Saying it's so strange to see you lot with um, prop jets in the US. We're all jets except maybe Alaska. Um, I don't miss props too noisy. I like them. I like yeah. them. I'm a bit of a fan. I wonder why the US don't have props. To, uh, they have them a lot in Canada. Like if you watch our Vancouver shows, you get them like all day long in like Vancouver. You get a, yeah. a lot of dash eights. Right now, Max about to touch, ladies and gents. Paul Allen, welcome back for eight months of support, mate. Saying great show as always, lads. Cheers, dude. Welcome back. Cheers, Paul. This aircraft flight 9839 coming in from Copenhagen. And um, Gary saying, uh, I see the Jet 2 Holidays as, is an A321. I thought they only used 737s. Well, Gary, yeah, they've got a couple of A321s in their fleet. And they've actually just placed a massive order for loads of A321 Neos. I think it's about 64 they've put the order in. So, yeah, Jet 2 is doing a major shift over. Got a bit of a hype train rolling on Twitch as well with uh, Storm Wizard kicking that off with the 10 months of Airliners Live Prime membership. Thank you, dude. Welcome back. Slate Dog HD returning for three months of support and gaming is out with 47 bits. Thank you, boys. Really do appreciate all the support coming in, guys. We couldn't do it without your support. Thank you, everyone. Andy K saying, a bit late, but I'm so glad you opened with the old theme music today. Hey. It is Airliners Live. 
Okay. I think it's kind of quite definitive, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Seven six is lined up. Tom F saying uh, hi guys first time tuning in on a Sunday I'm an ATC engineer at Manchester wow that's hey. awesome uh, really great quality today in the miserable Manchester weather hey Tom thank you very much for checking out the channel dude um, what is it so when you say an ATC engineer does that mean you're fixing things around the field or does that mean you're actually in the tower doing stuff dude Top Jets 2754 heading off to Lanzarote this morning. OBYF on the reg. Lanzarote, yeah? Oh, yes. <laughs> And that, uh, running a little bit late, but nothing too crazy. About just over half an hour behind schedule. Um, for those who like two E wide bodies, we've also got a two E Dreamliner on the taxi out as well. Seven eight seven dash nine heading off to Bridgetown Barbados. Going to get this screen and white lanterns. And how's Henry doing? Um, well, Henry actually wanted to do a show on Thursday, but we got terrible weather. Yeah. So um, Henry is ready to come back and do shows, ladies and gents. So um, yes, uh, Vancouver will be hopefully returning this week, but we're just waiting for a break in the weather at the moment. Um, and Tom, thank you so much, dude. Sending in a ten pound super chat. Saying hi guys, enjoying the show from home, running a little bit late, hope to be there about 12-ish. No worries Tom, I mean the weather's pretty bad dude, weather's pretty bad, but I do have your um, merch in the back of the car mate. Did you bring the other merch? Uh, no. oh, okay, so I've got one of your orders in, in the back of the car. <laughs> yeah. I had to get so many things. Man. Yeah. Um, could you give the, I don't know if you've already, oh you've already done it Matt, yeah, cheers. Um, coming in as well, we have an Embraer 190 coming in from Lisbon with uh, Watermelon Airlines, Ta Tap Express, and um, departing another flight to Lanzarote is a Jet 2 A321-200, um, which is HLYF, which is the original, the first ever Jet 2 A321 that they purchased. Catching a Ryan Edge taxi again. That's when I came in from Copenhagen just a moment ago. Um, just looking out in the skies for the um, tap. Yep. The visibility has dropped. Visual, yep. Yeah, the visibility has dropped a bit with the rain. And apparently this rain shouldn't last too long this morning. Um, so it'll definitely be worth sticking around to. And it will mean that the, the runway is nice and damp for the arrival of the King of the Skies, which is only about 17 minutes away at this point. Right, amazing, love it. With a windy, wet arrival for the King of the Skies. Hopefully it all is good for the arrival, and it makes for a spectacular landing here live on the Sunday show on Airliners Live in 4K as well. Could you ask for more? And um, a massive thanks to Patrick for sending in a £5 super chat. Really does help the channel a lot. Thank you, Patrick, saying uh, Happy New Year to you all. A great show yet again. All the best from a sunny Cleethorpes. Well, can you uh, send a bit of sun up here, yeah. Patrick? If you Come want on, Pat. Send us some here, mate. Share it with a group, Patrick. Thank you very much, dude. And uh, a brand new VIP. Very warm welcome to Tap Re uh, Tap Rettles. Um, becoming a brand new premium economy VIP. Thank you, dude. And Gillian Clough with the 199 soup chat as well. Hope you're well, Jill. Very warm welcome to the stream this morning. Cheers, Joe. Welcome. And Zane Musa on Twitch. Very warm welcome. Flying Jackal, great to see you. Tap Air Portugal on the roll, um, roll out, sorry, in from Lisbon. And HK tuning in from Mauritius. Thumbs up, loving the show. Awesome. 
Yeah, quite a few people agree that um, the old tune is where it's at. Okay. We did want to... We've... <laughs> We wanted to find a new song for 2023, guys. Yeah. And I'll be honest, I've spent about two and a half hours looking. Yeah. Because we, we, um, cause we do quite a lot of edits and stuff. We pay for a website which kind of gives you copyright-free music. And um, I've just not found anything as good. I think we've really like come across a little gem in the, we have. the intro tune. And it's hard to find something that will be, uh, be better than that. Yeah. And plus, you guys have kind of got used to it as well, which kind of, kind of, kind of adds to it. Everyone kind of loves spamming the chat. I'm personally not fed up with that song yet. I'm not, just, I just, am I. I just worry that other people might be. Yeah. <laughs> but then we're listening. We are listening to it all the time here on the channel. I even have it on my car playlist. So, uh, yeah. No new songs, says Laurie. <laughs> what did we have before? Thanks for the info, Phil. We had like take uh, you down. Yeah. yeah. There goes the Jet Two A three twenty one two hundred off to Lanzarote. Chan oh, cool. Chan X flight eight nine one. Um, Seb saying apparently Lufty are reintroducing or reactivating. Sorry, all of their A three forty six hundreds. Wow. Whoa. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Wow. If it ain't broke, don't fit. It's our song now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the... Um, have you stopped using multiple cameras? No. So we have a PC which runs as some software which handles that. And there was an issue with one of the updates on that software where basically, as the show went further and further on, it would just keep using more and more memory until it ran out of memory and then it would just crash. So um, we're just running some tests on it in the office and we're hoping to bring it back on uh, Wednesday for a, for a test run, a trial run. We think we've fixed it. Aer Lingus ATR 72 coming in. This one's coming in from Dublin. Cheers, Kevin. Thanks for tuning in, mate, saying loved working at Manchester Airport. Yeah, we have quite a few people in the chat who uh, who have worked at Manchester at some point. It's great to have you all with us. Just before Gillian's super chat. Thanks, Gardner. I was looking for that, mate. I was scrolling through a couple of minutes ago. I, uh, I must have missed that. Tom F, there we go. Yes, thanks, thanks very much, Gardner, for pointing that out. Sorry, I missed it, Tom. I was uh, I was looking for your answer and I couldn't find it. So you know, we look after things like the ILS on the airfield, uh, as well as everything in the control tower. Ah, cool. Look out for the white Nats four x four on the airfield. Yes, we will do, mate. Yeah, we've yeah. seen that loads. Seen him knocking about. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome, Tom. Great to have you with us in the channel. And Darren Corden saying top quality video and audio as always. Thank you. Mate. Me. Yeah, it's great to have you in with us, Tom. So with regard to the ILS and stuff, Tom, is it kind of making sure it's clear of debris and nothing around it? And I assume you, you have regular checks and tests and stuff to do on it as well. Got 273 on the roll out to uh, Grand Canaria. Ian Wright, welcome back. 13 months of membership on the channel. Thank you, mate. Saying Sid Squad last night were complimenting Airliners Live. That's really kind of them. We, we love the guys at Sid Squad. Yeah. We really, really do. And that's the thing, ladies and gents, is, is we love... Um, there's quite a lot of channels now we were just super positive and really friendly and just out to help each other and, and we love that. We absolutely love that. Yep. And um, in the spirit of that, we did see that our good friends over in LA, LA Flights, have unfortunately had a lot of equipment stolen 
Um, and they do have a fundraiser out at the moment, guys, to try and get themselves back online. Yeah, it's really sad to see. Um, so really we're sad. happy to give that a little share for them, and I uh, hope they can get online as soon as they can. Yeah. Um, yeah, massive, massive shame. Yeah. And uh, I'm not sure exactly on the details, but I hope um, neither of them were involved in that. I hope it was just a... Uh, yeah. Just something that happened while they were away from the vehicle. But yeah. yeah, I think it was by the sounds of it. Yeah. They, two they, great guys as well. It couldn't have happened to two nice above. No, it really couldn't. Nice it never, it's nice always that way, isn't it? It's yeah. always the nice guys. Hope they get back on their feet really quick. Greg saying it sounds like you had a memory leak on the PC. Yes, yeah, we, we did. Yeah. yeah. That's what we diagnosed. But it was a memory leak within uh, OBS because we haven't done anything else and it's. Yeah. Apart from move to another platform, and it's uh, seems to have fixed it. Tui Dreamliner is just entering the active. Is this uh, EasyJet taxis off the runway? Nice. Tui flight 128 heading off to Bridgetown. This EasyJet came in from Geneva. It's an A320 Neo. Hotel Yankee on the registration. And Barry saying 4K is brilliant. Keep your signature tune, please. Ah. Yeah, I did see someone say you should do a poll, but I think we already can see <laughs> which one's favoured for you guys. <laughs> I mean, we can do a poll if we want to have a bit of a laugh. Just, I'm actually curious just to see, like, <laughs> the, the percentages. I'm a, yeah, I'm amazed people really like it that much, though. Like... I know it was a bit of a staple, but I didn't realise people liked it that much. Yeah, people really took it, actually took it to their heart. Yeah, so that's good. Excuse the pun. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Tui Dreamliner departing. Take care, Sour Tonic. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers, mate. And George, hello, welcome to you. heavy that to be dream lineup really was and uh, tap saying uh, he was a brand new VIP saying morning everyone been watching for a while um, just a bit slow to get my uh, to get my card out and sort membership great stream thanks for the good work hey listen mate it's got to be uh, when it's right for you dude absolutely Our, uh, obviously we're going to have people who've watched for a long time and it may take you a while to decide you want to become a member of the channel and that's entirely up to you guys um, if you want to support us for free you can hit subscribe and like that's a great way of doing it for free um, but if like tap you've been watching for a long time consider becoming a vip because we cannot do it without your support guys um, it's uh, yeah we, we would be forced to charge for things that we don't want to charge for which is not the way we do things on our own side support the channel you can hit the dollar symbol and click super chat that's a great way to send in a one-off donation wow huge spray from the Ryanair 737 there or you can become a VIP by also uh, following the VIP links in the chat or by keeping an eye out for those gifted memberships if someone in the community is gifted memberships you may be lucky enough to receive one of those A380 update King of the Skies is now on final approach Ooh. into Manchester. It's going to be number two till then. Okie dokie. And Tom F says, uh, yeah, exactly. So maintenance, calibration, fixing it when it breaks. Also things like the weather stations, runway visibility meters, radio transmitters, receivers, ground radars, control equipment. Right, so you're really getting stuck in, Tom. Yeah. It's awesome to have you with us in the community, Tom. Thanks very much for uh, checking out the channel. Have you been watching for long, mate, or uh, are you fairly new to the channel? Loopy just saying we've hit 1,000 likes as well. Cheers, everyone. Thank you. Huge number. Thin air. About to uh, blast off into literally thin air. <laughs> Everyone's saying it now. <laughs> Stop that, it? Loving the signature music. Awesome. 
Next arrival is a EasyJet A32200 coming in from Paris, Charles de Gaulle. Flight 21926. Rocking the uh, call sign Easy 52 Whiskey Papa. Tango Bravo on the ridge. Now be followed by Alpha 6 Echo Oscar Tango. A380 800 coming in from Dubai today with Emirates. Flight 17 rocking the destination Dubai. Very colourful special livery. Should brighten this morning up, shouldn't it? A bit? Oh, yes. And bear in mind, the runway is now pretty soaking wet. So this arrival is going to be one heck of a spray. Not the easy jet, but the uh, A380. want to uh, put a bit of uh, blue roll on the old cables because there's a bit, of, a bit of water starting to travel down the cables now. Keeping an eye out the uh, 380 agents. No visual as of yet. Yes. Only at 2300 feet. Bear in mind the visibility is pretty low now with this rain. I think the signature music perfectly reflects the chilled vibe of the channel. Ah. Says Beverly in the chat. Yeah, a lot of you guys kind of, uh, you want that to stay, don't you? Except for the chorus where off, off microphone we all go. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a good go, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> Um, let's catch up on some support, shall we? Because we've got lots of you guys recommitting to the channel. Yes. Ian Wright, uh, with the 13 months. Thank you very much, dude. Uh, I think I read that one out earlier on. Uh, Katie Rowley with the uh, 10 months of support saying here's for 2023. Keep it up, guys. Thank you very much, Katie. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, Lee, that's a good shout. It's sort of a spray emote. We have a map. Uh, Matt. Uh, Karan, thank you very much for the ten dollar super chat. That's really kind of you, mate. Saying keep up the great work, guys. It's never easy going live, especially in these conditions. Cheers, Matt from yeah, Matt. Sid Squad. Thank you very much for the donation, guys. We uh, we love your channel. We really, really do. Absolutely. Um, I'll be honest. I'm a bit of a lurker on your channel because yeah, it's usually if I wake up really early yeah. and I just want to kind of watch something while I'm just laying in bed and I don't really want to be. Um, chatting away and stuff so um, yeah but I do I do love what you guys do um, Nick Barton thanks for the 10 mate as well um, Nick saying uh, with three months of support oh 8380 is next in as yeah, well yeah, to about to touch here we go folks this is going to be awesome watch the spray on this King has arrived in 4K here on Airliners Live. The first time as well for that livery as well in 4K. Oh yeah. Awesome. And stick around because we're going to have an even better view when it taxis back right past us. Yes, thanks for pointing that out. I didn't even see. I, I think the screen is really important, isn't it, for us? We'll, we'll look into that. Yeah. Um, Nick Barton, thank you very much for the three months of support, saying great show as ever. Looking at a trip to Lanzarote soon to do a bit of spotting there in the sun. Oh, really? That might be uh, being organised on the old Airliners Live as well at some point. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
Ian Brownbill, welcome back. Six months of membership. Hey, Thank welcome back, Ian. Carl Crawford with a seven months. Welcome back, Carl. Oh, well, big Carl. And Mr. Tony P supporting the channel today with the five airliners live gifted memberships. Thank you, guys. We really want to. We really want to encourage the gifted memberships because. Uh, yeah, they're the best way to support the channel, guys. So, if anyone wants to support us, gifted memberships, please, are the way to go. Yep, they can only um, be done on a PC or a laptop at the moment. Yes. And make sure that you allow gifts as well, ladies and gents. So, they've gone to Ollie Davies, Charlie, Paul Royal, uh, Ishan, and Phil O'Dowd, all receiving gifted memberships there. And Michael Curtis, returning member for two months in a row. Welcome to Premium Economy. Thank you very much, dude. Really do appreciate it. Yeah, it is with Airliners Live being a community channel. Giving back to the community with gifted memberships is definitely the uh, the way to do it, guys. So if you've got a laptop at home, head over to our YouTube channel, click the dollar symbol on the laptop, and there'll be an option there for gifted memberships. Let's get a bit of a gifted membership train on the roll. And Tom F said, yes, I've been watching for about 12 months. Great to see the channel growing so well. I also fly a Cessna 150 from Barton, so looking forward to seeing some streams from there in the summer. Tom, our office is now based at Barton as well, dude, at the Flight Sim Centre. So if you're ever about, Tom, pop in and say hello, mate. But, um, yeah, we'll definitely be streaming from Barton in the summer. It's uh, one of those where time just got away from us this year a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. You really enjoy streaming from there as well, don't, don't you mind? Yeah. It's great. It's nice because we go airside and we just get nice and close to the action. But I like it. It's just something different, you know? It's yeah. something different. It's just about how we encourage more people to tune in because the thing is with Barton is we don't get anywhere near as many viewers uh -huh. and for us obviously we, we want to do Barton because it's where the office is and there's loads of cool stuff happening yeah. so we just want to encourage as many people to tune into that as possible really and plus you want to give back a little bit as well don't you see so yeah because Barton is so accommodating to us they've literally kind of gone above and beyond to kind of make things easy for the channel to operate around there in terms of access, airside access things like that and we just want to make sure we're doing what we can for them as well you know. Absolutely. Retired Jake, thanks very much mate for the two months of premium economy, welcome back and so Thomas much. returning for 21 months saying watch on 4k large screen iMac So an Express has just touched down but we're just going to stick with the uh, smarties I think he's going to hold for him Matt yeah, that it looks, looks like it. He's giving up the space. Yeah, yeah so the Sun Express 737 uh, Max 8 this morning coming from Antalya. Flights 5, 9 of 4. Thank you, Charlie, Sierra, Oscar, Mike on the registration. The Emirates 8380 is 7 years old from July 2015. And in comparison, this Sun Express is only 3 years old. Delivered in July 2019 from Boeing. Let's turn around and have a look at the King of the Skies here. Probably the best view you'll get anywhere of such a beautiful aircraft. Stopped right in front of us. Literally. This, uh, A380, just one of 118 A380s in Emirates fleet. Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how many they have back fly. Does anyone know that? They had them a lot in storage, didn't they? And slowly been bringing them back out. I wonder if that's on there. Uh, look. Well, apparently, Emirates have flown 105 million passengers since 2008. Good. <laughs> Welcome back, Debbie. Just got back from walking the dog. Be good to see the helicopters at Barton. Yeah, I really want to do a Barton show. Really, really do. According to planespotters.net, they have 85 of them currently flying. Still 34 of them stored. 34. So they've actually got 119 then. Yep. Yeah. According to planespotters.net. They also have 145 triple sevens. And one A319. A 
and uh, it's not going to be tomorrow, guys. But in the coming weeks, Mr. Fezzer, maybe, and it's only a very small maybe, flying something very fast oh. in the flight sim shop. Intriguing. Ah. There's a very small maybe, though, at the moment. Interesting. Interesting. Yes, next departure will be a Jet 2 757. A 34 year old 757 200 heading off to Tenerife for the south. Somewhere much warmer than here. But yes, the Emirates A380 just taxiing in now. King of the Skies is going to arrive on stand 12 here at Manchester Airport be greeted by a sea of operations on the ground which are going to get turned this uh, goliath around to depart hopefully around 1pm I think it's 1 uh, 10 past 1 is the departure time for it don't shoot the messenger ladies and gentlemen <laughs> look at the Jet 2757 is now lining up on yep. the active runway he is Heading off to Tenerife South Airport, which is currently 21 degrees Celsius. Lovely. Thanks very much, Johnny. It's very kind of you, mate. I'm glad you've enjoyed seeing the progress of the channel as well. Brilliant. Is this is colour shifter. It is. Yeah, it is. There you go. Shifting over to the red now. Oh. I really... No, I'm, I'm sorry now. <laughs> Get into it. There you go, Jet 2757 um, departing there for Tenerife South. It's a flight time of about four hours, um, depending on the sort of uh, winds up at cruise altitude. They can do it a, a much shorter time if the winds favour them. Um, I know when we returned from Lanzarote the other week, uh, it only took three and a half hours. Quite that, innit? Significant difference, yeah. Not quite going Mach 1, but... <laughs> Do you not think it's worth testing the screen we already have? Right in the office. You know, the little one. Which one? The little one we used for Fezzer. Oh, the little one here? Yeah. Then we need to buy one anyway, to replace that one. It's only temporary. Um, Ryanair flight 1950 coming in from Warsaw this morning in um, Poland. Michael Curtis, welcome back for two months of Airliners Live membership. Thank you very much. Um, Abigail Reynolds sending in a 179 super chat. Thanks for that. So, morning, guys. Look to your right. Deadpool hat. Okay, we're looking. I don't know what a Deadpool hat is. I'm going to be honest. Is it the, is it the beanie? I, my yeah, eyesight's so bad. But. I can, see oh. a I can see a red. I can see, I can see a red hat. There we go. Give him a wave. A there we go. Beanie. We got one. Retired Jake with the uh, two months of Airliners Live membership. Welcome back, dude. Thomas Weir returning for 21 months. Watching in 4K on my large screen. Very impressive. Thank you, dude. Two max on the roll. So we're off to uh, Tenerife. 
Robert Johns, saying beautiful in 4K with the 15 months of membership. Welcome, dude. Thank you very much for the long-term channel support. What's that, Robert? We had uh, Tom Davies with a £2 super chat saying there's three of them A380 Smarties in the fleet. Thanks, Tom. Good to know, mate. Thank you very much for your uh, your donation as well. Uh, Philip Bell, um, brand new premium economy member. A very warm welcome to you, Phil. Thank you very much for becoming a VIP of the channel. Um, Abigail Reynolds with a 179 saying, here's my birthday for a bit of spotting. If it's your birthday today, Abigail, a very happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Abigail. Have a great day. Another brand new VIP today, Tom F. Welcome, dude. We love welcoming new VIPs into the community, so a very warm welcome to you. And Louise Sylvia Wood returning for 13 months of Airliners Live membership. Lots of bing bongs there to get through. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Welcome and cheers, uh, Louise. And thank you for sharing our little post on uh, Instagram yesterday. Uh, I've seen that. Um, and also, folks, if you haven't uh, already seen, uh, this year or just next month, we'll be at the uh, TAS Memorabilia Fair here at the Runway Visitor Park Manchester Airport. So anybody is invited. Uh, it's free entry. You only have to pay for parking here at the RVP. Uh, we will have a stand at the convention um, and it's inside the Concord Hangar at the Runway Visitor Park. We'll be set up with a big booth. We'll have lots of space for you guys to meet up. We'll make it a community meet. You can meet the Airliners Live team, myself, Martin, Matt will be there, as well as loads of moderators. Bez is going to be there. Loopy's going to be there. I believe Chester Mike is too. Full squad. Full squad, yeah. You can meet everyone. And as well as the Airliners Live community. So you can come and just meet as many people as you, you want. You hang out, do a bit of spotting. And if you've got some Airliners Live merchandise, rep that so we can spot you guys from the crowd as well yeah yeah definitely wear your merch guys so we uh, we know who you are yeah so you're all invited guys the fair opens at about 10 a.m on the saturday um there usually is a big rush at 10 um so maybe if you want to just have a bit more of a chill and sit down and talk to us maybe come in the afternoon yeah. but that's about 2 or 3 p.m usually yeah. Uh, and also we'll be selling lots of merch so you can come and uh, oh Captain Mark as well um, our resident um, Airbus captain based here at Manchester Airport he's going to be there as well oh awesome so you can meet Captain Mark as well in you the flesh you ask him any of your uh, Airbus related questions yep we'll have the banner there as well so you can go get photos with us and the team and in front of the banner quick disclaimer we're only there on the Saturday ladies and gentlemen yes and that was yeah that's critical we're only there on a Saturday because the Sunday we'll be doing a live show Paul Brooks with a five airliners live gifted memberships to the community. Thank you, guys. I love seeing the gifted memberships on the channel. And they've gone to um, Stuart McManus, uh, Saturn Sky 650, Uncle Pat, DCS Cleaning Services, and Kevin Valor, all receiving gifted memberships from the awesome Paul Brooks. Thank you very much, guys. Gifted memberships are a great way to support the community. Thank you very much for that. Thanks a lot, Paul. And, and yeah, that's on Saturday the 25th of February, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. Saturday the 25th. I'll just double-check. Um, yeah, Saturday the 25th, guys. Get it in your new Earl on his live diary. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Put it Catherine on the calendar. With the uh, 449 Super Chat saying, thanks so much for the wave and Abby's birthday messages. You've all made her day much love. Hey, I hope you have a great time. Even though the weather's not too good, I hope you have a fantastic time at the RVP today. Go and get yourself some chips from the old, from the old cafe. I recommend yes. the sausage and egg. You know what? We've been having sausage sandwiches, haven't we, for a while? Mm. And we kind of... Oh, just the plain and simple chips. No, we haven't, have we? Um, here we go. Easy Jet, flight 2, 1954. Am I having deja vu? This is also coming in from Geneva. A lot of skiing flights. Yeah, we had we had an Easy Jet flight from there not too long ago. About half an hour ago, maybe. And pinging up on the ground, just completing its pushback, is the Aer Lingus UK A330-300 heading off to Bridgetown, Barbados. We'll see that blasting off two, three rides shortly. Val with a £5 super chat. Thank you so much, dude, saying, I've got airliners live on our TVs in the living room, kitchen, bedroom, and on my desktop. <laughs> no Not getting away from it. Be, no matter what you got to do, you can see a screen from somewhere. <laughs> Nice, dude. Yeah, Rachel, get down, Rachel, yeah. Yeah, Rachel's saying, will you be doing the summer task fair? We will indeed. Yeah. 
we aim to do every task fair they happen twice a year winter and summer ladies and gents if you could pick any aircraft from the show to base a new design on or any livery from the show to base a new design on put your idea in the chat let us know sensible keep it sensible let us know any livery or aircraft because we will be uh, bringing a new design to the task fair oh yes I did mention to you on the demo that 330 something to do with 330 but it's so difficult to yeah it's so difficult to replicate what no, the it represents yeah because we've we've got A380 already. I just, it's just a, such a big part of the channel, like the 330s and stuff like that. You know, I low key think a Concorde one might work because mm-hmm. people do love yes. the Concorde, but it's just like we have the Concorde here. It's always next to us during the live shows, but it's just like obviously we've never seen it on the show fly. So you know, I've got an idea for the Concorde one. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. I wonder if like a blueprint style design of Concorde you know seeing all the Ooh. everything that would be naughty that wouldn't it a bit like the shirt I've got with the the SR7 yeah, yeah. where you can see everything yeah, yeah. mate get, that's a one get heritage copyright to, uh, copyright copyright yeah. get heritage yay Concorde. or nay do we do like a blueprint style Concorde t-shirt guys where we kind of see all the details of Concorde yay or nay in the chat is that the one listen no one be stealing that idea now Mate, I'm not bothered anymore. People copy us <laughs> all the time. Anyway. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not dealing with that in 2023. It's not a bad one, though, is it? Pause. 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 I like that idea. How about seven six seven? That's not a bad idea, Joanna. Mm. The problem with the seven six is like, although it's a great aircraft to spot, I don't think it had anywhere near the hype that like the seven five had. No oh, dash eight. Yeah, I'd like a Dash 8, but I don't think many people would buy it. Yeah, a VC-10. I've seen a lot of people saying, like, retro. Like, okay, we're getting quite a few yays coming in. All right, well, maybe we right. cracked it, guys. Maybe we just... I, I've been thinking for days, and then the, when you said that, Andy, <laughs> yeah. that just head. came to me. There you go, that's how great <laughs> ideas happen. So, speaking of Dash 8, we've got a Flybe Q400 Dash 8 coming in. Uh, that'll be next to arrive. It's just about visual, maybe. Not really. Yeah, just got, just got a visual now. Yeah, uh, 2,100 feet. That's coming from Newquay today. Which, guys, you all seen the news about Newquay Airport. Really high. I'm really hyped about this. Yeah. Tomorrow, from Newquay Airport, folks, will be the first ever satellite launch from, uh, from UK soil ever and it's come from Cornwall Airport being registered as a spaceport the first ever spaceport registered in the UK they're looking at launching their first ever uh, via Virgin Orbit I believe it's called yep. um, with their 747-400 Cosmic uh, Girl and um, that's will be departing tomorrow night from about I think it's 10.30 PM, roughly that time and what they're using is they've modified what was previously a 747 uh, for passenger uh, use with Virgin Atlantic um, is now a well modified aircraft that can have um, satellites and space aircraft connected rockets. to it yeah. rockets under the wing and stuff pretty much Fascinating. rockets under the wings yeah um, so yeah that will be amazing. And guys, I, apparently Virgin Orbits are doing, I'm going to double check on their YouTube, if you guys want to watch it live. They are, I've seen it. Yeah, are doing a, um, I'll just double check. I'd be having to put a bit of graft in there. Yeah, Virgin Orbits from 9 p.m tomorrow on their YouTube we'll be doing a live stream of it right. so we'll be definitely tuning into that what time is that Andy? 9pm the live stream I hope going to be watching that I hope Fez is uh, done by then it should be yeah, yeah. Usually, usually finishes about then doesn't it
slimy dash in the purple scheme. Still great to see these colours back. In the- yeah, into the UK. Still hoping we get one in MS of that soon, mate. Oh. <laughs> Majestic. Hello. <laughs> I'm going to do my weekly shout out to Majestic and see the email. So he does it. Mel saying, I thought you already had a Concord one. What are you thinking of, Mel? The uh, 50th anniversary polo. Ah. Yeah, that's not, that doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> it did. Not easy, Jeff. Rocketing off to Milan, a nine year old A320. Just about to start a 727 mile flight. And uh, back in the airliner's live community, Sam. Uh, Donison, uh, Donison, uh, sorry. Um, welcome to Premium Economy, a brand new Airliners Live member, and I just destroyed your name, mate. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that, Sam, but very warm welcome to uh, VIP. And uh, Amy Hassan returning for two months, saying, uh, loving the show. Uh, where is the simulation uh, centre out of curiosity? It's at Barton, so just as you come into Barton on the right hand side. Uh, that's where the uh, Simulator Adventures is. And they're actually in the process of putting a 7-3 in there as well, guys. So make sure you come down and show them some support. Just search for the Manchester Flight Sim Centre and uh, get yourself booked in. Uh, Sasha McCarthy sending in a awesome £5 super chat saying, uh, Good morning, Martin, Andy and Matt. I hope you're all good and that you've had a nice Christmas. Thank you very much, Sasha. I hope you did as well. You too, Sasha. Thanks a lot. And... Uh, Join Guinness with the 10 euro super chat. That's awesome, mate. Thank you. Say many greetings from DHL 757 Germany. Thank you, dude. Welcome. Cheers. Oh. <clears throat> and Dino One, no worries, dude. Welcome back. Any chance of an airliner's like camera strap? That's not a terrible idea. That is That's quite a, great a idea. good idea. Yeah. yeah. We have the pin badges, of course, which do we attach to a camera strap. I've seen the only thing done. is, with camera straps, uh-huh. is what if it fails? Exactly. <laughs> because, yeah, I don't think we'd do that, Couple guys. Of, because a grand on end of a camera strap. Mm-hmm. That's what I mean. And, and I know the camera strap that I've got, if it fails... They will replace your camera because they're that confident it's not going to fail. Yep. So, yeah, I don't really want that on my head, guys, I don't think. ACR yeah. shouldn't use much runway here. Tell a lie. On his way back to Belfast at ATR, six years old. Yep, we've also got a Lufthansa A319 heading off to Frankfurt. That's on the taxi out at the moment. Lufthansa Flight 941 and taxiing out as well here she is the A330-300 with Aer Lingus UK heading off to Bridgetown Barbados this is probably one of the loudest aircraft she'll get at Manchester these days I don't want to know the temperature in Barbados I'm not interested at all <laughs> no, I'm going to have a quick look but oh, I'm not going to read it out if it's the clear sky you should see the launch from the UK yeah, I don't think we're going to get that lucky tonight. Looking at the weather, guys. I think, I think you know, uh, ju- judging off like some of the, some like some of the graphics I seen on the, on that thing yesterday, on that site yesterday, it's looking like the best view is going to be like from Southern, Southern Ireland and stuff like that. Right. So they're going to go out that way, are they? Going to go out that way, and then they get up to a certain height, obviously, and then launch and then, it from there. You know. So then do the, the. So is, is let me have a look. Yeah, it's, they're taking it to like. Is it 40,000 feet they're taking it to? I think that's got to oh, be the I lowest. I read 40,000 as well. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. that's like lowest tolerance, the lowest height they can go to. Excuse me. I do think it's raining in a... Oh, it's just cloudy with a bit of rain apparently in Bridgetown right now, so... Because that's the thing, right? Because if if this is being flown up to 40,000 feet, then yeah. weather isn't really an issue then, is it? No, that's not the, really. That's the point, yeah, because <laughs> here in the UK, obviously... Weather's never going to be reliable. No. That's why many space stations are like in quite hot areas. You know, like you got like um, Kennedy and um, Houston, Boca Chica, and all that. Yeah. And isn't the one in Cali as well uh, with NASA? I forget the name of that one. Anyone know the name? But yeah, so I don't think we'll ever see 
rocket launches anytime soon from the UK. But it is speculated. It's progress, isn't it? There goes Lufthansa A319 heading off to Frankfurt this morning. And the next departure will be the heavy A33300. And again, like I said, this is probably the loudest aircraft we get in Manchester. Sheer decibels is nuts from this 330. CF6 engines. <laughs> Ian, yeah, I was, uh, was going to keep that quiet, but uh, yeah, Ian's put the uh, temperature in Barbados. <laughs> <laughs> He's let you know, don't worry. Thanks a lot, Ian. Really, Mel? Off out for the first time in over two weeks. Well, I hope you uh, have a great day. I hope you're feeling better. I know you're feeling a bit under the weather. Did he say Lufthansa A390? Uh, I mean, probably not. Uh, we've also got Ryanair heading off to Kerry. A Ryanair 737-800. And a Turkish Airlines A321neo. Turkish Airlines Flight 1994. Heading off, a nice pair of Wookiees on board that. And Laurie just let me know uh, that we have obviously over 3,000 people watching today on YouTube. Um, but only 1,391 likes. So if you're really uh, enjoying the show today, you can help us out uh, for free uh, by supporting the channel by hitting the like button. And what that does is it lets the stream be recommended to more people and let more people enjoy this live, free aviation stream from Manchester Airport. And it helps us out a lot as a channel. The old can, algorithm. That's it. You can show your support by just tapping that like button. On yeah, Ranger 330 on the roll. sound from the Ellings A330-300 blasting off 2-3 right at Manchester loads of spray as well and Richard Bar uh, Barrard welcome to Premium Economy thank you so much brand new VIP feel free to make use of our fantastic emotes in the chat all original and we are very proud of and also uh, feel free to get yourself in the VIP lounge on Facebook if you've got a Facebook account or make use of all the um, behind the scenes content we have on, on YouTube as a VIP you just click on the channel and then go to the members uh, tab or the community tab if you've got that I appreciate the support folks all the uh, little donations and VIP signups go to support us and everything that we do on the channel including the 4k upgrade which we recently made on the channel which involved buying uh, some new hardware and um, increasing the bandwidth of the network by investing in new uh, sims to use as well so we can have more networks at once. And Roger Tandy, welcome to Premium Economy as well. Brand new VIP also signing up. Wow, thank you guys. Cheers, Roger. Really appreciate it. The wind is <laughs> certainly picking up, isn't it? <laughs> it's doing a bit. What would you say it was, Matt? Would you say it's pretty pretty intense up there? Um, you just give me a sec. I'll show you how windy it is. How on earth? Guys, I'm looking at the Metar. It says eight knots at the moment. Eight knots. No way. There's no way. Not a chance. Now, I know Captain Mark did mention that the uh, in certain directions here at Manchester, the Metar... 
the um, a nanometer gets uh, blocked by uh, objects around the airfield, so the wind isn't picked up as much. But for sure, I would call this it's more than more than what they're letting on. Definitely. Yes, I would definitely call this uh, a windy day at Manchester. <laughs> We're quite used to wind here in Manchester. It's, it's definitely an airfield that summons the wind, should I say. It's a... That looks more than five knots. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll keep an eye on the Metar, but it's not gone above eight knots today on the Metar, which, I mean, I've seen people's umbrellas get blown inside out and, you know, people really struggling to stand on the blocks on the mound. Do you want to swap at some point, Matt and I? Because I can jump on just for a bit if you want to. I'm absolutely fine, mate. Unless you want me want to jump up here and get in the cold, it's up to you. Yeah, I don't mind jumping on for a bit. Okay. It's just to keep it. Um, I'll get this, uh, get this Turkish and then. Yes. Swap it yeah, I'll I'll jump on the camera and brave. We've also got a two e seven eight seven on the taxi. I'll oh, take yeah. off to sunny Montego Bay, over in Jamaica, which again. Um, is Again, I don't want to know what temperature it is there in Montego Bay. Thank you very much. <laughs> don't we have... Um, I think Turkey, it's a, she's waiting for something there. Uh, we were mentioning earlier about the Lufthansa A340-600s. Uh, currently flying just north uh, east of Manchester Airport is Lufthansa Flight 444, which is a... Um, Airbus A340-300 ah. heading from Frankfurt to Atlanta. I've never seen a Lufthansa A340 in person. I I'd would love lo- to. Oh, yeah, I'd love to, yeah. Especially the, uh, the 600 series, because they are pretty yeah. nuts. Yeah. We sadly don't get them here at Manchester anymore, uh, A340s. I can't remember the last airlines we would fly them. We had quite a few uh, charters. Yeah, like uh, I think we had one at like the Blank Plus Ultra one in not long back not last week. Yeah. And didn't we have a high fly one recently as well? Oh yeah, that's right. I'm mistaken. Yeah, you're right. You're yeah. right, Andy. Yeah, you're right. The last one I seen was a high fly in the Spice Express scheme, <laughs> and that was I think it was at the end of 2021. I think I seen that. Yeah, you're right there, Andy. And it was raining, and the rain got so thick that um, it had to abort its takeoff. So it started its roll. It got to about. Oh you know, yeah, yeah. You got did you get you got footage of that, didn't you, Andy? Yeah, yeah I remember. I, that. I was at Jet Parks that day. Correct. Yeah. Cracking. And Gary Brolly with the five pounds super chat saying great footage, enjoying for a while. Um, thanks, guys. Cheers, Gary. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you for the five pounds super chat. And then also Kevin D oh. with the 50 months of executive club. No messing around. Amazing. Welcome back, dude. Thank you very much. Cheers, big Hope Kev. you well, Kev. He says, morning, Martin, Andy, Henry, Matt, and the rest of the mods. Looking forward to 2023 and the great things happening on Airliners Live this year. Keep up the superb work you do. Cheers, Kevin D. All the best, Kev. Cheers. Mate, thank you, thank you mate. so much for the team support. It's really appreciated. And uh, I look forward to seeing you plenty of times, maybe at the task fair, hopefully. Uh, but I appreciate the support nonetheless. Yes, Turkish Airlines A330, sorry, A321EO next to the part with their beautiful Pratt Whitney. Made a lovely little din on the taxi out. Oh, yes. Lovely whistle. And then we got, uh, not long after that, um, is the Tui Airways 787 Dreamliner. Uh, that'll be in view soon as well. Maybe we'll wait until that goes out to swap. Just yeah, so no problem, mate. Absolutely. So we're not rushing. Absolutely, mate. Uh, whenever you're ready, whenever you're sweet. Yeah. Uh, on the approach or coming in, um, we're also going to have uh, on the downwind at the moment is a Ryanair 737 800. There's also a jet, sorry, an easy jet A320 and a Pegasus 737. How far is the Qatar now? Qatar Junior? I know, that's what I was curious about. The Qatar. Okay, so the Qatar is still. Uh, I'd say about th- yeah, 35 yeah. minutes oh, right, okay. away, away, away that, yeah. Saudi um, yeah, even further yeah so the, well the Belgium. Qatar yeah the Qatar is uh, sporting the all white body again today yeah I think they've sent that to Manchester every day over Christmas and stuff like that weird is that I wonder why must just be like the uh, the set out in the, on the aircraft or something like that I was going to say is it the same reg every time I'm on? yeah yeah it's the same one ah I mean, keep it simple, right? From Qatar's point of view, same aircraft, same route. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, the High Fly A340 was in last week, St. Chester. Ah, yeah. right, okay. I sadly missed that, but... It's plain white anyway, so... Yeah. But it's still nice to see a 340 here all the same. Yeah, I was just looking into that launch this evening. All right. Looking forward to that. Looks good. Looks really, really good. Coffee time, BRB, says Terry. No worries, mate. Put one on for all of us, pal. Yeah. Are you going? Oh, you got enough mugs? No, two sugars, please. Go. Yeah. How many mugs does he need? About three and a half thousand? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome everyone, if you are just tuning in, a very warm welcome to Airliners Live. You're watching the Super Sunday Show. God, that Tui looks brilliant from behind, doesn't it? Yeah, mega, doesn't it? Thank you very much all for tuning in today, and thanks for all your support coming into the channel as well. If you do want to support the channel, you can hit the dollar symbol and click Super Chat to send in a donation, help keep the streams online, or even become a VIP or gift Airliners Live VIP memberships as well. And Great Jeanette's way to support saying, the channel. Uh, it is loving. Uh, love you guys. I'm hanging here on your lives as often as I can from Gothenburg, Sweden. Very warm welcome, Jeanette. Great to have you with us. Hope you're doing well. And uh, Brad Jackson, very warm welcome to you. Is anyone in the chat new today? Have you found us today? Is it your first time watching? Yeah, let if you just know. sub today. Let us know in the chat, ladies and gents. Welcome. Well, no, we're having, a, we're having a great time. It's good to have the shows back. Really, really is good to be back doing the streams. Uh, tomorrow evening, yeah, sorry, uh, Robin, yeah. Oh, the camera work's been okay. Been, I don't forget, I've had like two weeks off me, so hope it's been all right. No, it's flat on, mate. Like anything, it's... Uh, Getting back on the bike, innit? Yeah. If Terry needs more mugs, there are still six Valentine's Day mugs still in stock. <laughs> Yeah, if, any, if anyone wants a Valentine's Day mug, ladies and gents, we've got six of them still in stock on the new website, airlinerslife.com. From two years ago. <laughs> yeah, they're, uh, they weren't, I'll be honest, they weren't the best joke. But I think it, it kind of fits in the with Beluga the The Beluga one was pretty cute, you know. Yeah, it kind of fits in with the style, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, Vision Thing, welcome back for 28 months saying I'm new. <laughs> Stop cheating. <laughs> That is cheating, Vision Thing. Very well, welcome if you are new today. Um, it's great to have you all with us. Yeah, we'll keep an eye out for the Iceland Air, certainly. Yeah. And Wayne returning for 32 months of support. First class saying, uh, can recommend the hoodies all saves. Um, turning the heating on, it certainly does, Wayne. Really does. And Scotty Lass says, I'm new here. Nice to see a Tui Dreamliner that I've been on a few times going to Bridgetown. Nice hey, one. Awesome. Great to have you with us. Three-year-old Turkish A321neo heading out to Istanbul. A flight of 1,660 miles on that one. That's an old nose leverage that just, just suits the 321 Yeah, it looks Neo, great, it? doesn't it? And uh, Andrew Main says, I'm watching you on the TV um, with our grandkids loving it. Welcome to everyone in the household tuning in. Thank you, Andrew. Hey. Thanks for saying hello. And uh, Jabwitz on Twitch saying, looks like another nice day in the UK. <laughs> yeah, pretty standard, dude. Yeah. Pretty standard. I'll be buying the beanie hat ASAP. Well, Keith, there's another delivery of those to come. I don't know about you, like, but round our way, over Christmas and New Year, it was just so miserable, you know, the weather and whatnot. Yeah. It literally did not stop raining over the Christmas and New Year period. It was miserable. Yeah, it's, uh, at least it's started to dry up a little bit now. Yeah. I'm definitely looking forward to the longer days. Yeah, so am I. I am down, at, down here at the RVP. Have you guys been to Chester recently? No, we haven't. We haven't. I'm desperate to get back now, back down there and get some... Uh... The airport? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so the good thing about Chester Airport right now is the Belugas are flying on Saturdays as well. Yeah, That's yeah. cool, isn't it? 
So they were in yesterday. Um, they had the XL. I, I don't know which one it was, but the XL was in yesterday. I still need to catch the new XL. XL. So, so, so on, the, on the Saturday though, are they still like? Are they still buying like stuff? That, like stuff that's been produced down there, or are they just doing parts that little bits? Or I'm not sure. I, I, well, I, I'm under the impression that I thought the blue. It's just a normal be, full operation. Yeah, because like. they're just that that full. You know, with yeah, capacity, yeah. You know, they have to orders and spread it across more days and. And yeah, back to doing Saturdays. I think before COVID, they did Saturdays yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're back up to like. It's a great sign. Yeah, I, I, I personally can't wait till they do the tours again because I really want to do that. It's a brilliant sign. Yeah, they don't do the tours anymore, and I think they stopped doing them because of COVID. But now, uh, obviously, that's sort of somewhat over and done with. And you know, yeah, we, we'd like to see that return, but I'm not sure they, they just have at all. Uh, yes, so we're wa- if you're watching on Twitch, ladies and gents, head over to youtube.com forward slash airliners live where we are streaming in 4K. So if you want to watch in ultra high definition, then head over to our YouTube channel, airliners live. To a reminder, he's just about to enter the active runway. Nice. Awesome. Fabulous. One thing I do want to get at Chester is that shot of him going over the canal. Oh yeah, that's a brilliant ah, shot in the yeah, middle yeah, when yeah. it's perfectly in the middle. So yeah, um, photo I'll wise, be, I'll be planning that this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. yeah, hopefully get that it's in the brilliant, brilliant shot you can get from there. I think it's a bit of a walk to get there, but it's Is worth it? it. Yeah, and that, that that's when they're on one way two two that, which is their their default, you know. Yeah, and Fort. Stomper says, uh, "I just found you guys. I didn't know I needed this in my life until now." Is that Pendle Hill in the background? Says uh, Stomper. Well, very warm welcome to the community, mate. Yeah, welcome. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you'll be a regular. We stream every Wednesday and every Sunday at 10 a.m. So uh, if you love your aviation, then tune in there. We also do flight simulation streams with John every Monday. And we stream from Vancouver, Canada um, every uh, Thursday at 7 p.m. UK time. So absolutely loads of aviation content for you Stomper um, with regards to Pendle Hill yeah as Stephen says it's uh, it's the uh, it's the Dales Pendle Hill's a bit further away from that and off goes the 2EG liner heading out to Montego Bay yes <clears throat> I'm going to jump on the camera for just a short while as well let Matt uh, warm up because it is pretty lethal and we've got the the wind blowing in our faces here so it means that the rain is blowing on our faces. It's not fun. Uh, but we got an Iceland Air 757-200 now pushing back as well. So that'll be departing soon. Awesome. Definitely worth sticking around for that. And also um, a couple of aircraft on approach, including an EasyJet uh, A320 um, on the final leg of the approach. Um, so I guess just catch that while I'm just setting up to, to jump on. Uh, and that's going from Geneva as well. What? That's the third easy jet from Geneva we've caught. Extremely popular destination. That's nuts. Right, Yobby. You caught me. Caught me having a snack. Oh. I'm sharing this all over WhatsApp. What a good guy, Neil. Yeah, get the feed shared, guys. Let's get as many people in here. Like the main thing about airliners live is the community, and we want to build everyone, build the community, and bring everyone together. So if you've got friends that you think may be interested, feel free to send them a link. Or if you've got people who may you may think may not be interested, they may surprise you guys. It's always worth a uh, worth a share. You can really hear the wind picking up here at Manchester now. And the flight from Geneva took about an hour and a half for this EasyJet A320. There he is. Well done, mate. Get yourself warmed up, Marcus. Yeah, no worries. I am. <laughs> there we go, that's loud enough. Cool. Oh. 
obvias. There we go. On my screen, I said it first, John. <laughs> There's a fence in 4K, guys. <laughs> yeah, I hope you enjoyed that fence in 4K. It's uh, it's razor sharp. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, I'm going to mute myself. I, I deserve a timeout for that one. Oh, my gosh. It is, uh, yeah, it is pretty windy up here. It's pretty mad. Off down to A319 on the, uh, sorry A320 on the way out to uh, Munich. Yeah, Matt's gone to grab himself a, a coffee. Yeah, well deserved. He said he was all right, but I was like, nah, just <laughs> it's not fun. <laughs> Can you turn my headphones up a bit as well? Uh, yes. One, two, two. Oh, yeah, that's, that's better. Lovely yeah. job, that. Yeah, that's fine for now. No worries, Mr. Salman. Uh, uh, torrential rain in Wigan. Oh, no. I think Neil, it, keep yeah. that to yourself, mate. Don't want to hear that, Neil. Yeah, if it gets too heavy here, we may need to pull it, but uh, we will see. Bit of a crosswind on the go though, look at this, Pegasus. Can I quickly do this? Yes, that's much better. And next to land is the Pegasus 737 Infamous Istanbul. Four years old, this Pegasus. We'll have a look at the livery because they do seem to look quite tired, these 73s. Yes, they do. Was bringing in 4K your New Year's resolution. Hey, Kevin, you're about a week behind that joke, mate. Andy made that on the Wednesday show. <laughs> I've made it like every show except for this one, but there we go. Got there first, didn't it? Ah. Not in a rush to exit the runway there, the Pegasus 737. Okay, I know the beanies are 10 out of 10 for Airliners Live, but in this case, the cap is actually helping a lot because it's keeping the rain out of my eyes. Yeah. Otherwise, it would be very painful. We're looking down the end of the runway. We've got Ryanair on the taxi out, out for Alicante. We also have the Iceland Air 757, 23 years old from December 1999, just about to make an appearance in front of the A380. That's heading back to Reykjavik. About a thousand miles, the flight there. And down the approach path, the next to arrive, just uh, passing over Stockport. Again, in from Geneva, the Jet 2 737 800. A lot of uh, a lot of Geneva flights. It's probably warmer there than here as well. Oh, it is. <laughs> Checking in on our heavies, uh, just south of Peterborough, we got the Qatar 777 in from Doha that left six hours, 50 minutes ago. And that should be with us in about 15 minutes time, something like that, guys. Did your sofas get delivered? Yes, our IKEA, IKEA sofas came. They are built. They're very comfortable. And I'm never thinking about sofas again in my life. 
I do want to ask though, what was the process of building them like? Was it, it was actually a lot less than I thought. Yeah. So they came in like two. So imagine a sofa's like um, like a ninety degree, and you got the bottom and the back, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, those two kind of all came pre-built. So what you had to do was connect them two together, then put the arms on, and the arms were pre-built, and um, then put the, the cushions on, and that was it. The hardest thing was actually um, getting all the covers on straight. Yeah. Because you're pulling it quite tight, because obviously they're really tight fitting. So you need to cover the sofa, the arms, the, the uh, back, and everything like that. Um, so yeah, that was the hard thing, getting them on straight. But apart from that, it was really straightforward. Nice. So, I did yeah. wonder to what degree you had to build them, because I legit thought it would have been like connecting all the wooden blocks together. I was a bit concerned it was going to literally be flat packed, but it wasn't. It came came pretty much ready to go, awesome. which, is, which is good. Steve Baker, welcome back to Business Class Membership. Thank you, dude. Welcome to the stream. But yeah, like low key guys, like saved an absolute fortune as well on the price, and the IKEA ones they were they're so comfy, really really good. So yeah, made the right decision I think. There it is a Jet Two Seven Three Seven just touching down, twenty two years old this aircraft. Yes, Ooh, idle reverse being used by the looks of it, so not a lot of spray. I love how in this 4K resolution you can see the, the landing light there and all the rain. This is crazy. Jet 2 Vienna on the reg, or on the name, should I say. Foxtrot X ray on the reg. And pinging up on the ground, we have another heavy departure, a 2 e Dreamliner. Heading out to Bridgetown, so stick around with Airliners Live for that departure coming up very soon. Nice. Athene Devon, welcome to you. Thanks for tuning in. And Chris saying that Geneva's a popular destination with the skiing folks. Yeah, I can imagine. There he is. Maddie boy all coffeeed up ready to go sit in front of that heat of sun which sofa did we get uh, Jen will know Jen will know Vimley I think a grey one <laughs> v Vimley now nah, this one's not low chips and gravy it's not low this one So pilot, <laughs> nice here. Right now, 737 Max on the 8200 heading out to Alicante. And Rickster says, um, I always remember unloading the Iceland Air 757 full of fish when I worked there. Ah, wow, that's smart. What's isn't it? going on with this door? Isn't it? There's a shot of the uh, the windsock here at the runway visitor park. You can see it's definitely more than eight knots. Hundred percent. I get slapped in the face by these rain droplets. There we go, Iceland Air seven five seven. Next out. Sorry. Oh, but <laughs> I was I was minding not to push buttons behind the behind the camera light when I'm with yeah, apologies for that, the screen folks. and stuff. It is very dire up here. Let's get the Andy comms emo <laughs> in the chat, guys. Or the Matt Smith one, whatever one you want to use. That'd yeah, become a meme. That would have been. <laughs> What's worse is I can't even see the chat. Oh. Yeah, I don't mean to be rude, but I just 
I didn't even bother with the chat up there. Yeah. Impossible. <laughs> it's no, impossible. you can't on them. Even holding the camera still like this is, is hard work. Right, it looks like we've got an aircraft on uh, the runway. Yep, so you've got EasyJet uh, next to depart out to Amsterdam and then there's already an Aer Lingus ATR for Dublin lining up behind it. We've got a bit of a break in the old arrivals. There's a Tui just about to uh, turn in over Hyde, but he's quite a way out. And Slack Grill says a shout out for the incomparable Matt Smith, a solid session. Cheers, yeah. Slack Grill, thank you very much. Yeah, great job, Matt. Thank and you. if you're watching on Twitch, don't forget to look for Airliners Live on YouTube if you want to watch in 4K, guys. Yep, same on Facebook as well if you're watching there. Mate, I completely forgot we were even streaming to Facebook. <laughs> Jet on the takeoff roll to Amsterdam. Should be in ship all within the hour. If you are watching on Facebook, say hello in the chat, guys. Love to give you a massive welcome. Make sure you head over to YouTube to watch Inglorious 4K. Uh, Max Res is 1080p on Facebook. Okay. Yeah, we pushed it to Facebook today just because we were curious whether Facebook did 4K yet. It does not. Thermal undies coming soon, says Rob. No, we're not bringing them to the merch store, mate. Just bring them on the corner. <laughs> Mankinis. Mankinis <laughs> next on the merch store. Early rotation for the Aer Lingus ATR. Yep. Very wobbly rotation as well. Mr. XL, welcome, dude. Watching on his break at work. Hope you're doing well. Great to see you. Happy New Year, mate. Yeah, welcome. Happy New Year, Stu. I'll be seeing him later. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or I think Lynn. One, one of the two. Be collecting. Uh, Duty free, yeah. Yeah, collecting um, Sam's calendar. Oh, nice. Which uh, she's still not got. Um, Sam was featured in their uh, end of year calendar. Oh, cool, yeah. For the Beluga Spotters uh, Great. guys. Lee Fielding tuning in from Stoke. Welcome, dude, on Facebook. And uh, Timotheus, welcome to you as well. If you are watching on Facebook, guys, just head to YouTube and search for Airliners Live on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, you'll be able to watch in 4K, guys. Yep. You'll need to hit subscribe, though. It's completely free to chat. Just click subscribe. We've had a good few thousand people watching throughout the show today, so... To a Dreamliner on the uh, taxi out should be... Uh, taxiing past us very shortly. It's on the way to Bridgetown. And we've got a uh, PC-12 on the taxi out. I do love the livery on that. <laughs> I, uh, oh I just see the camera just slowly yeah, going yeah, down as yeah. Andy takes cover under there. <laughs> we also have a Virgin Atlantic A330 pushing back for JFK as well, which will be out very shortly. Okay. And our next arrival is nearly with us, which is a 7.3 Max, 2.7.3 Max, which is on the way in from Toulouse. The good thing about the, the, the wind being this strong is very little rain gets inside the, the tower. <laughs> oh, wow, this is too giving it all the corrections, though. Thank you. 
Welcome, Big Al. Tuning in from Wrexham. Oh, yeah. There you go, 2E737-800. Sorry, 737-MAX-8. Touching down with loads of spray. Making the rapid exit there. Steve Baker, uh, welcome back. Uh, for the business class member, thank you very much, Steve, returning member, if I didn't welcome you already. Welcome, Alexandre, from Rio de Janeiro in welcome. Brazil. Hey, no worries, Greg. Great to have you with us on uh, YouTube, mate. Thanks for switching over. Cheers, Greg. Make sure you've tapped that like button for us, mate. Sounds great, this, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Mike Oscar on the reg. Innsbruck is the name. Similar to Jet 2. Two we like to name their aircraft after destinations. Up with Jonathan from Middleton. And there's that uh, PC-12 departing. Yeah, no hanging around. Sean tuning in from Salford. Welcome, dude. And uh, Keith tuning in from Brisbane, Australia. Can you please put the Discord server details up? Yeah, if you head to... Our YouTube channel, Keith, um, just head to YouTube and search for Airliners Live. Uh, the details will be in the chat there for you, mate. I don't have the commands for Facebook, I'm afraid. Yep. Get involved in our Discord. Uh, you know, we've got loads of uh, community members in there, and myself, Matt, and Fezzer, and all that are all in there. I think, Matt, you're even in there sometimes. Yeah, correct, yep. Flemo's in there. I know he likes to keep himself to himself when he's playing DCS yeah he doesn't invite us to be honest so I ain't shouting him out no more <laughs> <laughs> hey listen to this Jonathan Veach says the sun is starting to burn through south of Warrington it might be coming your way oh, oh lovely jubbly. that's what I want to hear that sounds good Bob Newhouse no problem mate glad you're enjoying the stream looks like a British Airways shuttle service next in how do I get to your viewing location? You need to search for the Runway Visitor Park. Yep. It's a public space, and uh, you just pay for your parking. So search for the Runway Visitor Park. And just about the touchdown from uh, London Heathrow, there'll be a shuttle service left half an hour ago. May 3, 2200. Better world we're in yesterday again. Was it? Keeps eluding me, that live yeah. right now. You got it yet? No, I right. don't think I have, no. Forever eluding me that. It's a blue one, isn't it? Yeah, correct, yeah. No, I haven't got it. I always look on the uh, thingy the day before and it's never coming in, never coming in. And yeah. you look at someone's pictures on FB later in the day and you're like, no oh, way, it's coming. I oh, know. No. Paul also, Hughes, cheers for the five pound super chat, mate. Saying just a little for a hot drink. Thank you very much, dude. Tip off. If you do want to support the channel, guys, help us keep the streams alive. Hit the dollar symbol, then click Super Chat. Yep. It really does help us a lot. Or you can gift some memberships to the community. Or you can help the channel for free by simply clicking that like button. Don't cost you a thing. Also got the Q8 330 pushback as well now, ladies and gents. Mega. Yes. That's going to be great. Get some 4K goodness on that. To our left rear shortly, the JFK flight from Virgin Atlantic will be coming past. Charlie Cook tuning in from Sydney, welcome. But now lined up, ladies and gents, with a 2 e uh, Dreamliner, which is going to be taking off to Bridgetown in Barbados, just on his takeoff roll now. Awesome. Gary says um, the Qatar's in in 10 minutes. I flew QC business with Qatar last week from Nairobi, and it was amazing. Beats wow. any other business. Wow. And Doha Airport is unbelievable. I bet you had an awesome time there. I believe Gary. it's a brilliant package of business and all that on the yeah. Qatar. Oh, Jimmy on the roll. Yep. Wing Fletcher Rooney. Look at the spray just oh, coming wow. off the back of that. That looks amazing. Good grief. 4K hype. Looked amazing in 4K. Absolutely looked. Hey, Zishan. Incredible, that. Got any aircraft about to touch? Yep, yep. Ryanair. In from Gdansk. Mm -hmm. 
Welcome Clyde, tuning in from the Philippines. Gosh. You're doing a bit up there, innit? Mate, I've got it's, the it's tiniest... It's, ha- it's hail now, by the way. I've got the tiniest split in the window where the cables are coming through. You. And my laptop's getting wet. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's hail at this point. The uh, water poly- particles have become solid. Oh, wow, this is... <laughs> the wind is picking up as well. Gary Birch has just become a brand new member. Welcome, Gary. Thank you, mate. It's great to have you involved in the chat as well, Gary. Hey, appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for uh, signing up to become a member today, mate. And uh, implement, Dad. I blame me, Dad. I blame me, Dad. Did I just say implement, Dad? <laughs> implement. I was kind of like, I blame me, Dad. God, Matt, you can read that one out. I blame me, Dad. Just a little something to say. Thanks for entertaining me before I return to work tomorrow after Christmas. Well, you've had another week off. What's going on? Not messing about. Some of us have been at work a week, you know. Oh, you've enjoyed the, gri- the break. I blame me, Dad. Implement that. Implement, implement that. <laughs> That's what it is. Implement that from now on. Hey, Dave, you've timed. Dave, but you've timed it brilliant to come off the camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. It's just, it's hard work. It is hard work, I yeah. It's not easy. Whenever you've had enough, mate, you give me a shout. Look at the state of that that I just looked at on the camera, by the way. <laughs> Gosh. It is literally blowing off the top of that, the that's uh, what my there. That's what my face is like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can see an aircraft on a on final. This looks like... Is it an A320? It's an A319, I think, uh, easy jet. Yeah. Yeah, and this is dropping in from Nice. Yeah. Oh, th- <laughs> I thought it was going to be Geneva again. <laughs> <laughs> Every chance. The Qatar's just lined up with the ILS now, as well, and gents, so... Awesome. The next heavy is about to arrive a few minutes out. Waterproofing's held up well, though. Good. Considering we've got, like, two things that need waterproofing now. And all the cables between. Scarboy, thanks for the 449 super chat, mate. Really appreciate that. Really does help the channel, the Super Chats, guys. Thank you very much. Master Bison, guys, you should invest in a camera, Broly. I don't think it'd make all that Mate, much. No, it's it'd, it'd end up on the runway. Yeah, yeah. We've that's, got, all, we, that's what we've got to be uh, be uh, mindful of here. The rain's also coming from the side. Yeah, it's not coming from above at all. I think it wouldn't matter what we're, what we put up there if it, if it was windy enough. It wouldn't be safe. So yeah, just bag everything up is the solution. Plus, you have to think about how we're panning round and yeah. space. Look at that up there. Oh, is that a sun? Look at that up there. What is going on? I never looked at the easy jet. It lit up. I was like... Spot the rainbow. Yeah. Air we... France on the taxi out there, gents. 4K rainbow. Ooh. Yo, look at that easy jet. It looks great now. It really does. That's really Guys, nice. this is where the 4K is really going to pop. Yep. Right about there, I think. Wow. That is glorious. Eport Chris with a five pound super chat. Cheers, boys. Love the channel. Much love from Ellesmere Port, somewhere Andy, Andy's pretty familiar with. Yes. Thank you very, very much. Used to live there myself. Miss it down there, Bradley. There's certain aspects of it I liked, yeah. Uh-huh. There's certain things I liked. I loved the boat museum down there, you know. Mm-hmm. That area was uh, gorgeous, but... Yep. Um, I'm quite happy where I am now as well. Yeah, it's cool where you are. Pretty chilled, isn't it? Yeah. All right, so we got quite a lot of Ryanair movements, including the... Also, along with that, the Virgin Atlantic A330-300 to depart. It's like a bus station down there. It is. Yeah. Oh my gosh, the rain stopped. Shh. Shh, shh, shh. Don't jinx it. One question I wanted to ask everyone in the chat. And I know some people don't celebrate Christmas and whatnot, but who got 
the best Christmas present this year. Who got it? <laughs> well, Mrs. Airliners Live yeah. got me the uh, Toby Eye Tracker. Oh, yeah. That uh, John's been oh, using. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, it's mega. Yeah. Mega. Really, really good. Best present you've ever had? Um, I don't know. I don't. I can't. I can't remember. Here's the Qatar Triple Seven Three Hundred ER. Sam got me. Oh uh, yeah. Sam got me a uh, a Gemini Jets model. Oh cool. One to two hundred scale. Huh? British Airways A three fifty one thousand. Awesome. It looks just the best like they've even modelled like the insides of the engines and like they, they actually spin the fan blades as well it's like what an unnecessary detail that is bananas wow so yeah that, that was the best present I've got for a long 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 time here comes the all white Qatar oh, this is going to look mega this Q8 Andy as well oh yeah let's just quickly catch the Q8 3 30. Double heavy shot here. Ooh, look at that. In the uh, classic Q8 uh, scheme. Just stunning that live you know. It is. It's probably going to photobomb the uh, the Qatar anyway, so there's no avoiding it. If you're going to get photobombed off anything, that's the one, though, isn't it? Yeah. That's beautiful. Look at the colour difference. This is in the light. And the Qatar, not, not so much... Focus on the uh, triple seven. That some serious stunning. spray action here, guys. Enjoy this. it wow he could make the rapid exit here uh -huh. wow this is going to be a treat guys yep look at this enjoy this wow this is going to be great Look at it, left engine Andy, it's pulling up there, look. Wow. Zoom that in, look yeah, at that. Look at that awesome. oh. Oh. Virgin 330. The take on behind. Lots going on here on Airliners yeah. Live. Tons yeah. of aircraft pinging up on the ground as well, guys. Stick with the channel. So, does that Qatar, that ex Virgin Australia Qatar, all white, does that get a yay or nay, ladies and gents? I yeah. like it. I like it. I think I'd be quite happy if they made all uh, Get rid of that grey. Gets a yay from me. It's very nice, isn't it? it such a nice change as well. It's, it's refreshing. It just looks so clean, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Christine Cox on Facebook saying, uh, Hi guys, my first time watching you. Keep up the good work. I'm really loving it. Thank you, Christine. Um, Christine, if you've got YouTube, just search for Airliners Live on YouTube. 
because that's where the majority of our community is, Christine. There's about 3,700 people watching on there at the moment. So if you are enjoying the channel, I'd definitely recommend switching over to YouTube sooner rather than later because you can really get stuck in with the community then yeah, and get yeah, yourself correct. involved. And um, So all you need to do is search for Airliners Live on YouTube, click subscribe, which is completely free, and after about a minute, it'll let you chat yeah. in the chat room. So definitely head over to there, Christine, but thanks for checking us out on Facebook today. Oh, yes. that was going on. You could, you, oh, you could do what Catherine Ding's done and sign up to business class. Thank you very much, Catherine. Cheers Thank you, Chris, uh, Catherine. Welcome back. Red Tower badge there. Oof. That's Ryanair sinking quick. Emirates 787, we don't exactly disclose what equipment we use, but we predominantly use Sony equipment. Yep. Oh, wow. <laughs> Huge amount of spray there from the Ryanair 737. Yep. 8200. Also got the Saudi now just turning on to approach now, Andy, as well. Awesome. He's around four minutes out. He's still at around three and a half thousand feet. Isn't it? So. Yeah, great. On the ground, uh, we have the Sun Express Max, which is just pushed back now. And Jonathan, thanks for sending in a 449 Super Chat supporting the channel today. Thank you very much, Shane. Awesome work, team. Blue sky is now coming your way. Oh, I hope you're right. Oh, can't wait for that. Yeah, Andy, just tell me when you want me to take over up there, mate. Raw 1210, welcome dude, tuning in from the drum and bass family on Switch. Yes. Great to see you, mate. Yeah, me and Mr. Matty Smith were yes. in there, weren't we? Yes. Dancing around the kitchen, you know? Yeah, bangers on, didn't we? Oh, mate, old school. Ryanair's off to Eindhoven. Flight of about 350 miles. Yes, we'll be doing the aviation fair, yeah. Both aviation fairs this year. Don't yes. Don't worry about that. Saturday the 25th of February, folks, on from about 10 a.m. Get it in your calendars. If you can be here at the RVP, please do attend. Come and meet the whole community, the team, and buy some Airliners Live merch as well. In person. DJ Matty Bruce, welcome to you. Tuning in from the USA, welcome. I think it's Leo France just sent me the action. And our brand new VIP, uh, yours or yours, uh, becoming a VIP. Thank you very much, mate. Just have a quick run some Ooh, of these presents. Some of these brilliant presents everyone got. Someone, and uh, Strody oh, nice. says, My last got me a hot tub lodge holiday in Scotland near Loch Ness for Christmas. Is that, hot tub lodge? Oh. Is that a virgin dreamy overhead? Uh, certainly looks like it, Andy. Anyone know where that's off to? Looks like he's heading off to the States. Probably from London Heathrow, of course. Dave Morgan and his girlfriend paid for his car to be fixed. So it's running sweet now. That's a mint Christmas <laughs> present, that, 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 Yeah, that's the thing with Christmas. Yeah, what do you do? Because everyone's like, what do you want, what do you want? It's like, well, no, what do you need? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. what do you need? Like, yeah. that's great, that. Yep. I'd be buzzing with I'd that. I'd be happy with that. I just got the usual socks. Mate. Gloves. Socks are great. For yeah, yeah. Socks. can't go wrong. Like socks now, you know. My yeah. dad got me new Get to an age and you just like... That'll do for me, that. Yeah. No fuss. Uh, the rotate from the Air France. Thanks, Reza. Thank you, mate, from Amsterdam. And uh, the Q8 is just waiting for uh, the Saudi Dreamliner next to arrive. Oh, look at that against them. And it's a 787 10 today. Long boy. Two years old from February 2020. Oh, right out in the clouds there, look. Wow. 
don't think I've ever seen a dash tent from Saudi at yeah? Manchester. Oh yeah, I saw one the other week. Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks really great. Nice. And Tim Jones, another brand new VIP signing up today. Welcome, Tim. It's great to see so many new VIPs in the community. Really Thank great. you, guys. And uh, Edison, I'm glad you're enjoying the stream from Chester as well. Welcome. No 8K camera for Christmas then. No, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's going next week, Mark. Shh, shh, shh. Keep on the deal, yeah. Only joking. Yeah. Keep on the deal. Zeppo tuning in from Germany. Welcome. Decent wing flex from the Saudi. About to touch. Nice one, Rob. Well, the weather's just changed so much. Yeah. Like, in, like a different country. Still pretty choppy. He could have done that, couldn't he? Yeah. Yeah, idle reverse being used again. Not in a rush to vacate 2 3 right. Looks nice that library on that airframe, doesn't it? It's Lovely, easy. yeah. Yeah, look how long this aircraft is. Dash 10 Dreamliner. The longest of the Dreamliner airframes. Finley, stop spamming the chat, please. Yeah, that's it, Bob. We do seem to see quite drastic changes in weather here at Manchester. Yeah. And my dad's saying, has Andy got a 4K telly yet? No, he hasn't. No answer. No comment. I am, I am on the lookout, okay. You're on the lookout, yeah? Yeah. Andrew Foster, the 26 months at Premium Economy. Welcome back. Saying looking great in 4K. Thank you, dude. Gold tail hype. And AMG Aviation returning for six months of VIP support. Welcome to you as well. And all right up there. Here we go. Q8 on the roll. Enjoy this, guys. This is the one. Give you a nice wide shot on this so you can see all this spray. Incredible. That was amazing, wasn't it? <laughs> it rotated at the perfect spot for wow. a video. I recorded it as well. Brilliant. Saudi Dreamliner. Taxiing past. Cheers to Darren Barnes. Afternoon all. First time on the channel. Tuning in from Scotland. Loving the stream so far with great variety of aircraft. He'll definitely be tuning in from now on. Excellent. Great Cheers, to have you with us, Darren. Thank you. A lot of new people joining us today, I noticed. Yeah, it's awesome. Really good to see the uh, the community expanding. Almost 4,000 in the chat. If you haven't let yet, ladies and gents, make sure you hit that sub. And also hit that like if you're free to do that. Look at that right there. Wow. Wow. Huge spray from the 7-3. As you can see on this Saudi, the size of it, the Dash 10 Dreamliner, it's uh, a lot longer than the uh, Dash 9. Just looks great, that, you know, that airframe. Great.
I told her if I the Ryanair is in from Budapest he's in plenty of reverse and uh, the Dash 9 is the, the main Dreamliner we see that's 63 metres long or 206 feet whereas the Dash 10 is 68 metres long and 224 feet wow. so significantly longer it is the, really yeah. and if you compare that to the Dash 8 um, they're only at 57 metres yeah. so uh, they do look really stumpy don't they the, uh, the Dash, Dash 8s really do yeah you're yeah. right EasyJet's uh, Easy about to take off there from to Hagada. Wingspan across all three variants, though, is exactly the same. Okay. Just cool to know, uh, as is the height. So, uh, yeah, it's just the length um, that changes. And believe it or not, um, the Dash 10 um, has got less range, quite significantly, actually. Really? Yeah. So, um, the, the Dash 9 can do 7,565 nautical miles, whereas the Dash 10 can only do 6,330. So, you're balancing that yeah. extra 40 or so passengers weight, weight ratio and, against yeah, yeah. your range there. Yeah, of course, yeah. KLM's about to touch down as well now. Info off the uh, the Boeing website tech specs on the Dreamliner there. Apparently, uh, Mark is going to be leaving. He'll be giving us a cheeky wave at some point. Really? Oh, nice. I've completely missed that message, Mods. If we got a flight number on that, if we can mod it over, that would be amazing. And, of course, the KLM in from Amsterdam looking great in the light. Fly B is just pushing back as well now, ladies and gents. That looks stunning, quality-wise. As the light brightens up, it makes the conditions so much nicer for the 4K aspect of things. And as the light catches this on the right hand side, this is looking amazing. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, Just lining up now, we've got an EasyJet A320, which is going to be on its way to Reykjavik. That's going to be followed out by a Ryanair. 7-3 which is on its way to Santander and then the tap, tap Embraer one night is going to be departing back to Lisbon Next to land is a Jet 2 uh, 737 800 in from Grenoble. Awesome. Hot Vimto or Ribena, says Michael. Always the Vimto, mate. A little bit of water seeds coming from the uh, flaps there. Nice. And Rogue Monk with a £2 super chat. Thank you, mate same 4k does look amazing great show yet again guys thank you dude thank you cheers if you do want to send a super chat in folks to support the channel and uh, to support the streams 
if you hit the little dollar symbol next to your chat box and click super chat an awesome way to support each other Loads of liquid still on the runway there, as you can see. Yeah. Flying architects just got in from football with Jungen. Nice, dude. Awesome. Good time. <coughs> Lou Blade, glad you're enjoying it on Twitch. Hope you're doing well, Twitch crew. Don't forget to check them Twitch Prime. Jim, tuning in from uh, the Gold Coast. Welcome. If you're watching on Facebook or Twitch, search for Airliners Live on YouTube, where you can watch us in 4K. Very best quality. Flight of one and a half hours from Grenoble, this jet to 16 years old. Oh wow, we've had a, uh, an alert come in for Jet 2 which was heading from Malaga to Birmingham 737-800 he's uh, made the right turn over the Bay of Biscay looks like it's heading towards uh, the south of France diverting Yes. It's obviously some sort of issue there. There's the flyby doing a single engine taxi out to runway 23 right. Just the right hand engine pulling the aircraft along. Quite comfortably doing that with the uh, Q400. And then they'll start the second engine closer to the runway, saving on fuel. It's very bizarre the Q400 when you just look at the fuselage. It's just the the one pair of landing gear wheels. About to drop in here. We've got NetJet Europe Cessna 560XL, which is a quick hop over from uh, Dublin. Oh, there's a little hop. Nice deep pockets required for that flight. <laughs> Didn't fancy the Ryanair, did they? <laughs> Could have got a max. <laughs> right, 11 euros. <laughs> or 11,000 euros. <laughs> Welcome, Robert, tuning in from New York. And Andrew saying, uh, first time I've seen your channel. Great job, guys, sending in 200 stars on Facebook. That's a big one for you, Andrew. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Feel free to head over to our YouTube channel, Andrew. Just search for Airliners Live, where you can watch us in 4K if you wish. Tap's going to uh, head to the active one. We're going to think here and sneak out quick. Robin saying we had that fly be in our hangar for re-delivery. Nice, dude. Matt Jackson from Dublin, Cessna 560XL. And apparently Cosmic Girls Transponder is now on at New Key. Wow. Oh. Obviously doing some sort of test. Yeah. And Rob, thank you very much for the £5 super chat, mate. Saying, great channel, love what you do. Uh, could you do a shout out to my sons Owen and Jamie, who love watching the planes? A very warm welcome, Owen and Jamie. Thank you very much for tuning in, guys. Hey, Owen and Jamie. Welcome. Thank you very much for the super chat, Rob. Glad they're all enjoying the channel. 
And Catherine, thank you very much for the 179 super chat. Saying uh, Abby just got that flyby in the RVP shop. Yeah. Hey, nice. Cool. A couple of transatlantic flights pinging up now. We've got the uh, uh, Transat 321 Neo along with the uh, Lincus 321 Neo as well, which is going to be departing to New York. That's on the taxi as well. Apparently, guys, we've done 2,150 likes today. Whoa. That is crazy. When did that happen, guys? That's awesome. That's loads. That is nuts. Unless my YouTube studio is bugging out. I doubt it. Mods, have we done over 2K likes today? Yeah, 2,100. You guys are nuts on YouTube. Yes. Hey, up, Capona. Hope you're doing well, mate. Thanks, everyone. Great to see you, dude. Rather large amount of spray there on the Ryanair 737. And if you also want to support the channel, feel free to go on over to our merch store. We've got Airliners Live beanies over there, which are really high quality, thinchulate thermal double knit layer beanies uh, with the Airliners Live logo embroidered onto onto it as well. We wear ours all the time. Uh, go and get yours ordered now. Shop.airlinerslive.com. They're also water resistant as well, and I wear mine out in the rain all the time and do a fantastic job of repelling the water off them as well. Well, I've just, I wore mine on the top of the uh, thing at the start of the show and it's dry as hell now. That's nice. nice. That is nuts. Uh, Wayne, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub, dude. Really appreciate it, mate. This Ryanair in from uh, Podgorica. <laughs> Never heard of that place before. There's a new one for me. Sounds. Let's have a zoom out. See where that is. Michael Palman, good day, gents. Watching from Melbourne, Australia. He's enjoying the show. Cheers, Mike. And here's the Sun Express about to uh, eat off 23 right here in Manchester. Well, yeah. an ego. Nice. Michael Plowman tuning in from Melbourne, Australia. Welcome. And as for little bits that you can buy from the Airlines Live merch store as well, we have oh, the yeah. pin badges uh, in stock. Loads of them, hundreds of them in stock. Uh, the Airliners Live logo pin badge. Uh, what high... about these key rings? There's key rings. No, the annoying. key rings are gods. Yeah, 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 I'm Kenza. The, right, the pin are... badges, high quality metal, also for VIPs. Oof. We have the VIP logo pin badge. Yeah, but what about the key rings? Yeah, what about that? Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> we also have. <laughs> are you going to mention them? <laughs> logo um, luggage tags as well. Hey, when's he going to say key rings? <laughs> he's going to say it or not he's going to say it next I don't think he's going to I think he's going to forget and finally the best quality item on the store he has, he's definitely got to be saying it now isn't he for everyone who goes shopping everyone who goes shopping and use shopping trolleys get yourself a trolley coin right, that's yeah, nice. that's <laughs> <it's> <laughs> ladies and gents and uh, guess what now. else you can uh, get yeah, the yeah. airline is live key rings oh, did, guys did, did, did not mention the key you didn't say no, key rings. I'm surprised he didn't mention that the best things airline is live key rings 10 out of 10 go and have a look and finally, the airline is live. Oh, just, yeah, you can <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, yeah. <laughs> did, he, did he mention them? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did, yeah. He's the, got the, answer, man. He survived the, another day. The key rings are great, though. They're, they're on, like, a, a premium leather back, and they're a metal red and white logo key ring, and they are so smart. If you've got a set of keys, you need that key ring. Yeah. yeah. yeah so, they are. What, what so anyway, go and have a look at the airline is live <laughs> web store. Naughty. I've got mine on my keys, but oh, yeah. it probably won't be very clean or <laughs> my hands are soaking wet. I've got well. one put to one side for you, Matt. I forgot yeah, to right. bring it though, sorry. <clears throat> Can we have lanyards, please? A few people ask for lanyards. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. oh, man. We're probably going to have to order like a thousand. The thing with lanyards and stuff like that is like you don't know how many to order. And, oh, no. Yeah. And, uh, like, like the good old uh, Valentine's uh, merch. You don't know how much you're <laughs> what be was it we ordered with? last time? Socks. Socks. Ev like everybody in the chat 
asked for socks. I'm not joking. Everybody and was saying, please, please guys, get socks, please. And then guys. three people bought them. Um, honestly, I'm not joking. <laughs> we have got so many socks left. And we only ordered 200 of each design. Oh. Yeah. So they've really not sold well. So I'm... Forgive me if I'm a little bit apprehensive about merch requests yeah, in yeah. the chat. But then some items sell rapid, like the calendars, the, the calendars, no- the, the notebooks. notebooks. Yeah, they all just went whoosh, gone. Uh, we have one notebook left in stock. Okay. From a uh, duplicate order, so we are going to be doing a airliners live VIP giveaway of a notebook I, and pen. So I, if you I, don't I, have one. There's your chance. There's your chance, guys. And that will be the last, last chance lottery. Yeah. They are like gold dust, then. Dave Hushway with a £5 sterling super chat. Hi, Andy, Matt, Martin, all the mods. Happy New Year and thanks for a fantastic stream today. Cheers, Thank Dave. you, mate. Glad you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for supporting the channel with a super chat as well. We couldn't do it without you guys. Nope. And uh, we also had uh, Gaffer Rob. Returning for seven months of Twitch Prime. Saying, great show, guys. Loving the 4K on the YouTube. Cheers, Rob. Appreciate it, mate. Thanks for heading over and dropping your sub on Twitch as well. And as we say, if you do want to support the channel today, guys, we'd really appreciate it. You can click the dollar symbol and click Super Chat. Or you can uh, become a member by clicking the VIP links in the chat. If you're already a member of Airliners Live, then give some memberships to the community. That's an awesome way of giving back but as we say every week even one pound two pound donations really do help us a lot guys so if you can support the channel <laughs> he died in the chat. we'd buy, really appreciate buy it buy six valentine's mugs and get a notebook and pen free <laughs> <laughs> you know what yeah if someone buys all six I'll give you the notebook for it. <laughs> and of course the task fair will have a lot of stock in person so if you don't want to pay the postage and you're coming down to the task fair anyway come and show your support on our stand and uh, feel free to browse all the products we have there I'm not sure Sen I saw that Jet 2 diverting yeah <laughs> Really impressed with the waterproofing today, though. It's yeah, done, yeah. Done fantastic, really hasn't went, it? Really good. Yeah. That, mon- that small monitor has done some blowing around, though. Yeah, maybe. Need to get that nailed down. Yeah, well, we've got these little suction cups up here. Maybe yeah, yeah. Implement, throw, implement yeah. it onto there, yeah. Throw one in front so it just doesn't move. I think we used them once, haven't we? Yeah, <laughs> <so>. only once. <laughs> on days like today where the, the rain was coming in on an angle, so barely any of it, any of it even got in the hatch. Yeah, correct. So we've got an aircraft lining up at the moment. It's the Air Lingus A321neo heading off to New York JFK. Yeah. And two we've also got the uh, Transat taxiing yeah. out as well. Yeah, we just uh, about to mention that. Brand new from July 2022 heading out to Toronto. Kicking up a spray already. Hey, up, Moose tuning in on Twitch. Hope you're doing well. Lisa Marie tuning in from Brisbane, Australia. Welcome. And Lisa is a first time watcher as well. Welcome, welcome. A long journey off to New York JFK Airport with Air Lingus, of course. On the old narrow body. Josh Webster Racing just mentioning that Air 321 is going across the pond, still boggles my mind. I'd, yeah, yeah. Madden Air Transat just doing the flight control check there. You see the controls on the wings being activated as a test to make sure everything is working ahead of its uh, takeoff. And um, we had a question in the chat saying, "What's the little engine at the rear of the tail for?" Um, it's um, an auxiliary power unit, so it basically provides power um, to the aircraft while it's on stand, yeah, so that it powers the systems up yep. and things like that. Um, and it allows the pilots to come on board and program in the flight plan and do all sorts of stuff there. And then um, that was a great catch from you guys on Wednesday, catching the. Um 
the Jet 275 on the test. We have got the... Uh, yeah, with the, uh, the RAM there. Yeah, the about. RAM underneath. Mm. Brilliant, mm. brilliant that, to see that. Still got to edit me picture of that, actually. Great to see. Mm. The rat. Yeah, and it made, made you think if they'd, yeah. if they'd been carrying out tests on the rat or if yeah. they'd had to use it while... Oh, they were airborne. I'd be very surprised if they were testing that. Yeah, it, so would it I. needs an engineer to put it back. Yeah. Yeah. You'd only think they'd utilise that if it was really needed, you know? Mm. So who's seen that show? The Rat and the Whiz. The Rat oh, and the Whiz, man. Oh, did we get any comments with The Rat and the Whiz on the YouTube? I think we got, we got some, yeah. Not, not as many as usual. Was, was that the uh, colder thing? Having yep. a quick look down the approach path next to arrive from Carcassonne is a uh, Ryanair Flight 737 800, and that's followed by a Jet 2 in from Barcelona. And lining up behind that, number three to arrive in from Dublin, the Aer Lingus in the old scheme. Should be nice to catch in glorious 4K. We haven't done a, 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 a phrase for today, have we? We have not. I have no idea what we'll do. Alison Yellen, thank you very much for the £5 super chat. Saying, keep up the good work, guys. Best channel on YouTube. Thank you very hey, much, Alison. Thank you. Cheers, Alison. Very Cheers, kind Alison. of you. Cheers, guys. Really appreciate the support. Also on the way in from Turin, which will be awesome to catch in about 15 minutes time, is a TUI 767 OBYK. Nice. Simon Greedy, you could do it on his live logo and branded lanyards in USB, but do people still use USBs? I've not used a USB pen in ages. Hey, see that. I'm, Sam was looking for it. Sam actually lost one of hers, didn't she? Yeah. So that's just it's a very old one, though. Yeah, yeah. So do people still use USBs and all that stuff? Or? Yeah, I'm not sure. Ryan Dawson, first time viewer, welcome. If we have any other first time viewers in the chat, say hello, don't be shy. Yep. You get a massive warm welcome from our community here on Airliners Live. Even if you're just lurking, just nip in, say hello, and go back to the Lurkers Lounge. Here's the aircraft that I flew on back from uh, Lanza the other, the other day. All right, hi. EIGSI. Bit of a difference from the Max, eh? Yeah, not a massive difference, though. It was mainly the... Um, What's the interior? Is the interior practically the same? Very similar, yeah. Okay. It's not, you know, I think the average Joe, Joe wouldn't really notice, notice the difference. Yeah. Just a bit more modernised. Quieter as well. And we just had a brand new VIP time up. Uh, Tony Else, thank you very much, Tony. Hey, cheers, Tony. Very warm welcome to VIP, mate. Thanks for supporting Airliners Live today. Enjoy those emotes in the chat and the tower badge now next to your name, Tony. And uh, Mir Triple One on Twitch tuning in from España. Welcome. Using the Twitch Prime for two months. And Gaz tuning in from Staley Bridge. I was up in Staley Bridge uh, about a week ago, actually, Gaz. We went to the reservoir near Tint Whistle for a little wander. Me and Mrs. Airline is live. Speaking of Staley Bridge, Gary's just tuned in from Staley Bridge. Cheers, Gaz. Welcome, mate. And the Jet 2 next to landing from Barcelona, and then it'll be the uh, Transat back out. Hey, welcome back, Rico. Three and a half thousand viewers today. Brilliant. Great viewer numbers. Thanks for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. And here he is, amazing Kevin D. Thank you, mate. Woohoo. Thank you so much, dude. With the 10 Airliners Live gifted memberships from the man, Mr. Kevin D. The main man. Going in with a 10 Airliners Live gifted memberships. That helps the channel so much, mate. What, Thank what you very legend, much. What a legend, man. What an absolute legend. They've gone to William and EV Aviation, Malcolm Lewis, Rika Hofstad. You've just come back, come Rika, on, and you've got yourself a VIP there. Um, Kapata, uh, Nathan Barriel, Doctor on board, Jamie Prince, yep. Ray B, Peter Clegg, John Hayton, all receiving gifted memberships from Mr. Kevin, the ladies and gents. You can have another bing bong sunshine. Thank you, dude. Show your appreciation to Big Kev if you've uh, just received a free one-month gifted membership from him. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, it really does help the channel, that, mate. Thank you very much. That helps us exactly the same as if 10 people had just signed just up signed to be up VIPs. There, Thanks a lot, Kev. 
Are you going to be at the uh, Taft Fair, Kev? Are you going to be joining us, or will we see you? Busy. I fixed a server tuning in from Florida, USA. Welcome. Mm. Gamer loving uh, the 4K as well, sorry mate. Nathan Emerson there with their eight months for premium economy. Morning lads, Nathan, Claire and Nora. Morning Nora. <laughs> My, Matthew Essenea. First time viewer, loving the show. Tuning in from DRC, Democratic Republic of Charlie. <laughs> keep, up, keep up the good work. Cheers, Matt. <laughs> we actually got a wave from um, whoever sat in the jump seat there as well. Oh, amazing. Jump seat wave. I wonder if they watch the channel. Well, there was a few uh, Jet 2 captains in the old office the other week so yeah. could be one of those boys but um, we have got an aircraft flying to the left of the tower and they've looks like he's busted through the localizer he's going to loop back around for another go what was that visual is it yeah it was visual yeah. with it it's a TUI yeah so the yeah. TUI's broken off the localizer for some reason 76 is that no the 77-800 so it was coming down on the ILS and then it's made a right turn and broke off yeah I don't know if it was for separation but I mean there was enough space between him and the Arlingas unless they're not quite ready for must have just been a bit high or something yeah. wasn't configured correctly I just caught something go behind the yeah. uh, run up bay there it wasn't the bird Johnny Tech tuning in from Barcelona welcome afternoon Flamos oh here he is Where's our DCS invite, eh? Where is it? <laughs> Every show. You, you know what I mean? Every it's show. Just you know selfish. He's he's sniding, since, isn't he's, it? since he helped him out with his PC and everything, and now he just don't want to know you. That'll be why. That'll be why. Helimed. Helimed, yeah, the Helimed's field. just come right across the uh, approach path there. Yeah. They broke off for that. Yeah. And here's the Air Lingus, a 320 in the old scheme. 15 years old, this aircraft from 2007. Yeah, so as Martin said, there's a Helimed at him on a southerly direction it's just gone right in front of the uh, approach to 23 right there so hence why the 2E73 from Malaga had to break off from its approach Frederick King tuning in from Atlanta welcome and Carolyn Holmes welcome if you're watching on Facebook ladies and gents I recommend that you search for Airliners Live on YouTube where you can watch us in 4K live now if you search for Airliners Live on YouTube, come and watch us in 4K and get involved in the community. Yeah. Three and a half thousand viewers watching on our YouTube channel currently. Even if you enjoy watching over on Twitch, nip over to our YouTube channel, drop a like, and then nip back over to Twitch if you want. But as Martin said, YouTube is the place to be for the best quality to watch in 4K. Yep. The 4K just being amplified on that Air Lingus looking Dude, was really amazing. Popped out that green there. Yeah. A380 update. The upper jet bridge seems to be disconnected. Oh, lower, great. Bri lower jet bridge still attached, and also at least one of the cargo ramps still attached. The catering trucks are gone. Forgot to ask you. Okay, up there, Andy. You all right? Perfect. Yeah. Okay, very, mate. Very chill. Very no complete. problem. Mate. No problem. This blasting off on a wet runway, though. The uh, oh. Emirates at the minute is showing a scheduled departure of just before 22, so... Mm. Let's see. Good sign the uh, jet bridge is being... Uh, at least the higher one being moved. So. Yeah, just one of them. Whenever you need to go, Matt, you, you feel free, mate. I'm not on a schedule, not on a tight schedule. As yeah, long as I'm don't, over here for around two-ish. Yeah, don't hold yourself up, mate. No, 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 I'm all right. Rico, welcome back for seven months of Airliners Live Business Class hey. membership, saying thank you again, Kevin D, for the gifted membership. So continuing that membership on, thank you very Excellent. much. Hassan, great to see you, mate. Love the channel. Welcome back. 
it's great how YouTube does that. It's, even like you say, Rock, Rika's not been in the streams for quite a while for whatever yeah. reason. It's just got her, gifted. Bring it straight back up. Hixie tuning in as well, saying great stream, guys. Cheers, Hixie. Welcome, everyone. Great to have you with us here on the Super Sunday Show on Airliners Live. Big trails coming from whatever this is. Nice. Is it an Airbus? It's a uh, it's, it's yes, Turkish twenty-one Neo. Been from Istanbul. Yep, right time of uh, three hours forty minutes. For this one. On there now, baby jammy Dodgers. There, yeah, miniatures. Go on, son. Not messing them out, mate. Go on, son. <laughs> they are pretty good jammy Dodgers. Are they the, the proper ones or the the Aldi? I've been eating a lot of like ton, you know the Tunnock's tea cakes. Oh yeah. Oh my god too. Yeah. Man, I've had about three boxes of them over Christmas. <laughs> but they're such big things. You just eat them like instantly, don't you? And I did the, like I did made the old mistake. I've been and done the Christmas shopping. That's like the worst thing you can say to us like in Argaf because right. after about three days. There's no Christmas shopping left. <laughs> so she's better off just hiding it. Yeah. <laughs> William saying amazing 4K quality, watching at home on the big screen, crystal clear, nice. Awesome. And I will say, of all the thingy, like the roses and your quality street and whatnot, people are still leaving all like the dodgy chocolates and the thing and stuff there you know There's still one or two dodgy flavours there I've oh, yeah. about two yeah, and a yeah. half years mate bounties bounties mate mate don't start on the bounties <laughs> <laughs> don't start <laughs> no one's starting anything <laughs> <laughs> it's just an observation you get, you get a bit defense, can't, get can't, a bit defensive there can't right? help leave the bounties alone all listen, right. right can't help what people leave in the tin man can't that's that, that's I know. Real. It's fact, isn't it? It's just, it's just Listen, there, isn't it? If you've got any bounties going, you feel free to drop them off. <laughs> I did see you can buy packs of just like yeah, one, just the one type. Yeah, you can't just buy <laughs> tin, bounties. An actual tin with just full of bounties, like yeah, mega. And Philip Bridden going in with a five airliners live gifted membership. Wow. Thank you very much, Philip. Awesome, Philip. Thank you. Cheers for supporting the channel, mate. They've gone to Hixie Gamer, Hibib, Habib, um, L- Dakal LP, and um, William New all getting gifted memberships from Philip Bridden. Awesome. Thank you, dude. Cheers, Phil. Thanks for supporting the community, mate, by gifting channel memberships. That's an awesome way of supporting the channel and the community. Thank you, mate. Appreciate it. Mr. Owen Flemmo, returning for 16 months. Welcome Woo! back. I'm still here, don't worry. Once the synchro training starts, you and John can fly back seat. Yeah, if you invite him and stuff. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure I won't get an invite, yeah, to be honest. Yeah, but. Yeah, yeah. And Aviation Zone returning back for 10 months, saying, hey, lads. Glad to see you back streaming. Hey, good to have you with us. And Pratt Whitney engines looking great in the sun. Loki gods here. Snickers. Good Snickers. Sign a giddy again. Yeah, saying that, like, obviously, I had three boxes of them tea cakes. He probably had the same in shortbread. Shortbread's proper Mate, like, traditional. Oh, I used to eat the smallest of shortbread. Oh, shortbread, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my main thing, Jen, I'll tell you. I used to eat them, you know, them ones that come in wheels. Oh, yeah. I'd be yeah. about two wheels deep before I'd, in one day. <laughs> <laughs> It's all about the, uh, the shortbread fingers, you know, the dead thick one. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're good, mate. But you know what he's got to in them, um, them boxes? What? The um, Maltese. Oh. Everyone tries to nab the Maltese. Everyone goes for it, don't they? Yeah. Yep. Once they are gone, you know that it's been raided, and not so the next to land is the uh, Tui that broke off from its approach from uh, Malaga. Definitely get down this time, I'd have thought. Yeah. So that had to, to break off because there was a heli med. Like, Correct. Yeah. Uh, right across the uh, right across the last maybe 500 feet of the uh, 23 right approach. Yeah. Oh, Jill, I don't mind the strawberry cream, Jill. Oh, they they're, they're good. I like them. Jill's not a fan of the orange ones. Yep. Not not mad on the orange ones, but the str- I could take a strawberry one. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, again, you can also buy a big pack of Strawberry Dreams, <laughs> which is pretty nuts. Oh, what's that behind as well? Biddy uh, Jet 2737 in from Turin. Yeah. Or look and then look turning what? in on approach is a 767. That'll be it. Oh, that's that's see both of them. Yeah, brilliant. Wow. That's stack. Visibility is great. Look at that, guys. Turning right onto the approach there. Brilliant. <sighs> yes. That's a 2E767. Wow. Turning in onto final approach, just behind a Jetsu 737. Bosh. Aviation Zone, welcome back, mate. Ten months of airliners live membership, saying, hey, lads, glad to see you back streaming. Cheers, dude. Welcome back. Thank you for the support. Custard creams, yeah, custard creams are just easy clap, aren't they? Oh, yeah, they're, yeah, too easy to eat. I feel like the American viewers have no idea what we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, up, Stewie. Nice to see you, mate. It's like when you put the uh, the, the uh, like the uh, what's it in the American supermarket, the English shelf or bandit. Oh yeah. What's missing? <laughs> yeah, that was bizarre. It, one. it was mad. Yeah, he had like uh, Robinson's like fruit juice on there, and, <laughs> yeah. uh, hobnobs as well. It's piece off. Branston pickle. Oh. Branston pickle on a good beef sign, oh. mate. Ooh, yeah. I'm out of angry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know it. <laughs> I'm looking to forward to a sausage and egg after today. Oh, yeah. Who yeah. says you're getting one? I'm getting one. Don't worry about that, mate. <laughs> Don't tell the dietitian. Sure. New Year's relations gone straight out the window. <laughs> good job, my New Year's resolution is 4K, innit? it? Yeah. Yes. I just avoids the need for an actual New Year's resolution Just my New Year's resolution is to watch Airliners Live in 4 yeah, 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 every day <laughs> on the 1080p TV I'm curious if we could achieve 4K at Barton because we struggled to do 1080 at Barton on the old gear yeah that's but we haven't actually done a test on the new gear have we that would be mad that'd how, be... how close you are Mate, to the aircraft I'm going to do it props and stuff like let's that. just do it even if it's just for an hour at some just point do it. This just week. do it just do it because the problem is during the week it's not that busy guys yeah but what I is the busiest day at about Sunday Sunday would you say Saturday or when Sunday when people get yeah. their spare time to do what they yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's Sunday. also the weather it depending you know that's like the biggest factor yeah that's yeah. us don't forget the receipt mate the amount of times we get food at the RV and I forget to get I the forget. receipt I forget and dad's like where's the receipt for this <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, bit of spray. Take care, P51. Thanks for tuning in today. Hey, thanks for So the next arrival should be the 2E 767. Yeah. Are you brothers or just friends? Uh, we're all friends, mate. Yeah, yeah. All friends. Maybe not Owen, but the rest of us were all friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oof. Flemouse is off to Lanza soon, isn't he, I believe? I was going to say, we invited him to Lanza. Well, yeah, he, he doesn't want to come, does he? Don't want to come, does he? Just don't, even, don't invite you to BCS and <laughs> just don't want to come. Like, well, I'm f See, that's why he's not <laughs> part, of it, part of the game. It's a jet to him, I'm sure. <laughs> Next lands the seven six guys, so we'll mute our mics and let oh, you yeah. enjoy this arrival. This is going to be quality if it gets the reverses going. Oh yeah, enjoy this guys. What was I just about to check on your phone there?
Oh, we're going to get head on. Mega arrival that one hour 51 minute flight 23 years old what seven, a catch. Six, seven that was awesome yeah wow. sorry I realised I talked through your clip but we can cut that out that's alright um, how did you guys meet well me and Andy used to work together um, and Matt has been a viewer of the channel for a long 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 time so uh, Matt came on board as a uh, as a moderator and then he's got more and more involved as the channel's progressed yep very very good friend of ours matt and he's uh he's supported the channel through the rough times and the good times which is uh which is great really yep. do appreciate it like many of the mods here on airline is live they're all very proactive and we talk a lot off stream and they're all basically friends of ours at this point so you'll see moderators appearing on streams here and there an easyjet a320 neo next to touchdown on two three right got a bit of a stack haven't we got one touching down with two on the way in nice and busy like what we like to see yep same from alicante this easy jet and that's followed by a Ryanair from Faro and another Ryanair from Barcelona there is a Vueling turning in as well in from Barcelona did a loop over Buxton for separation and another easy jet turning in from Lisbon as well so really nice and busy today great to see Alex saying I remember when you guys used to broadcast from the mound yeah yeah back in the day yeah well, we did a lot of bro broadcasts from the mound. Even at the start of 2022, we were there. Yeah. And it, and it was last year that they added this brand new control tower where we could uh, stream from the roof of... courtesy of our fantastic partnership with the Runway Visitor Park and the Aviation Society. Another wave. No, does anyone know about... Was that Captain Mark passing or have I missed him? I don't know. I, I, I didn't see his message initially, so I don't know what flight he's on. Yeah. Ma tuning in from the Netherlands what a fantastic show thank you mate great to have you with us yeah yes. welcome Ryanair from Faro spray action there great amount of spray on all of these 737s coming in on the soaking wet runway uh, Brian, yes, Manchester's got two runways, but during the winter it's not open um, all the time, though. It's on single runway ops at the moment. Yeah, I think it's end of March when the uh, winter, uh, summer hours kick back in. Next arrival before the uh, BA shuttle gets out is going to be a Ryanair Max. 8200 which is coming in from Barcelona flight time of 2 hours 10 minutes and that's going to be followed by an A320 from Vuelin a 
again flown in from Barcelona similar flight time huh. big engines of the uh, 8200 aka the Max pretty smooth touchdown as well Ah, he's incoming shortly. Oh, Captain Mark is. So keep an eye out for Mark. The last message we got at 12.39 was keep an eye out for Mark. He said he was going to wave when he's leaving. Leaving? Yeah, I'm not sure what aircraft he's on. How's the wind now, guys? It seems to have calmed down quite a lot, the wind. Yeah, it got pretty nuts at a, at a, at a point. They seem to have settled there. Apparently we've got a, uh, a viewer on the uh, inbound Barcelona. Uh, the Vuelin. The Vuelin flight, yeah. Okay. It's going to be sat in seat 3A. Okay. He's shining his torch, apparently. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, so we'll be having a look for that. That'll be on our side when it vacates. Flemos spamming the chat there. Love Island is back next week. Martin's going to be pleased. <laughs> Mate, <laughs> I've never watched it. Of course, he's uh, Flemo spammed that. <laughs> well, listen, you enjoy it, Flemo. Any mention of Love Island in this chat, right? That's it. Bam. Straight bam. Are you still looking for a Fiat 500s, Flemo? Or are you, you, got, you sticking with the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> or the Ford KA? <laughs> BA shuttle service heading back down to Heathrow about to depart yeah and I think it's half well in isn't it? yeah half well in's about to touch well pretty pretty short clearance that that's in a in it from South Wales not think. a massive amount of separation there good enough no good already enough. already about to touch down <laughs> Tech Mac tuning in from Germany welcome making the most of that single runway Andy say my one year old daughter loves watching the planes and your guys work is making her very happy says Andy excellent that's awesome exactly Gillian Clough you can stay I'd rather stick pins in my eyes and watch Love Island yes yeah you're one of us ooh big flare yeah big... he ain't getting off in front of us Chance. Chance. Nah, no, no. no chance. No chance now. Unfortunately. It's like quite an old aircraft though. Yeah. Yellow's faded a little, hasn't it? Yeah, seven years old from 2015. Oh. Engines look like they've been through a bit. Yeah. Vacating there. Alex Roebuck. <laughs> George Roll Bank in view there as well. Looking pretty dramatic with the uh, the light behind. Yeah. We'll catch this departure then we'll flip around to the Vwelling. Although we have, yeah, two more aircraft on final approach there. See them both in shot. An easy jet and a Ryanair. The easy jet coming in from Lisbon. Ryanair from London, Derry. A three eighty is pinged up as well now, ladies and gents. Nice. So that shouldn't be too long. In fact, he's pushing back now. The three eighty, as we speak. Great, great timing. Pretty much perfect timing as we look at the arrivals. Can you guess where this uh, easy jet's going? Uh, does it need a lever? Yeah. Incredibly popular route at the minute. Geneva. The Geneva. Let's keep an eye on in front here then. There it is, straight off the bat. Viewer of the channel 3A. <laughs> there it is, we can see him. That's awesome. I love that. Awesome. Welcome back. Can we get some wave emotes in the chat? <laughs> That's brilliant. I love stuff like that. Yeah. 
Hope you had a good flight over from Barcelona. I love it there. It's a great city there. Yeah, it is. Never flown with Vueling. I think Vueling's only route to Manchester is, of course, from Barcelona. Yeah, I believe that's right. Uh, yeah, Heavy, it's, uh, it's doing not too bad, mate, at the moment. Not bad at the moment at all. Next to land is the EasyJet in from Lisbon, 10 years old. Look at the visibility really opening up. You can see the, the hills behind nice and clear. All the houses and farms. Hey, all the best, best Barry. Oh, she's okay. Yeah, good luck, Barry. Bastian, hello, welcome. It's probably just that time of the year, Tyler. Yeah, I think like skiing season and... Welcome back, EasyJet. Ah, Seb's first ever flight was with Dwelling, Manchester to Barca. All right, nice. Awesome. just pushed back now the Emirates about to be uh, released from the tug and whatnot bright orange colours there the easy jet and yes the Emirates A380 folks stick around because we're going to see the departure of this in the next few moments the aircraft's just uh, completing its pushback time to start all four of them engines and take the uh, Destination Dubai special back to its home in the United Arab Emirates. And Paul Felden, thank you very much for the £10 super chat. Um, from a retired captain loves your streaming and commentary thank you very much Paul hey thanks Paul it's great to have you with us in the community mate thank you very much for uh, tuning in and supporting the channel as well yeah, don't forget ladies and gents if you haven't yet give that like button a click also if you click the dollar symbol bottom right of your screen but in the comments section there you can support the channel with a super chat or if you're on a laptop you can also give the community give back to the community by the way of a gifted membership great way to support the community thank you again for the £10 super chat here's Jet next to land in from Leeds um, Silver Cloud Air it's a long flight isn't it yeah well, it left 23 minutes ago, so oh. it's longer than I imagined. Yeah. yeah. See what route it's took. When you've got the uh, the whole getting through the airport. Yeah, it's not gone direct, you see. It's, yeah. it's come out of Leeds, made a right turn past Burnley up towards Blackburn. Yeah, and then. Gonna oh. loop around and then come down to Bolton, up to Rochdale and looped in. Yeah. Tour of the North, really. Yeah. Yeah. You think they'd just come out, go right, and straight <laughs> onto the ILS, <laughs> wouldn't you? <Yeah. laughs> Let's catch it then on its uh, pretty short flight. It's not that, but that is uh, on the ILS. G Gull. About to touch down. There's the sun coming out just in time for this Emirates oh, A380. Oh, he's, he's going around. He's aborted the, the landing. Oh, he's going again. <laughs> oh. Big nose down attitude. <laughs> oh, is it, he's gone again. Oh. oh, oh, oh! I don't know what he's doing. I, I, I think he's forgot how to land. If I'm honest. 
All right, onto the biz jets. It from Leeds, Bradford Airport. <laughs> Squawking 7700. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely was a squawk from him, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm not sure what his, uh, his, his failure was, but something was up the way he was flying. I think he's going to get a, uh, a phone number from the tower. Any? <laughs> Here's the BizJet just touching down after its tour of the north, coming in from Leeds, and the bucket reverses are out. Just see the light on the front end of the 380. It's going to look epic. Yeah, it should yeah. look good, shouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, look at it in the sun. This is worth waiting around for. The mound at the RBP here is getting full. Yeah, let's have a quick wide shot. There you go. You can see everyone crowding around to get a photo of the king of the skies in a special livery on a very special day for lighting. But here we go. The taxi has begun. Yep. I'm going to record this locally as well in 4K, and you guys are watching it live in 4K. For those watching on YouTube anyway, Twitch and Facebook, I know you guys are watching in lower quality, but you can head on over to YouTube to watch 4K live aviation here on Airliners Live every Sunday and Wednesday. Nearly 4,000 viewers watching this end of the park. Wow. Awesome numbers today. Awesome. Yeah. That's a picture. But now arrived from Manchester Airport, we have the destination Dubai Emirates A380. It's a beautiful, beautiful sunlight on the taxi out here. Look at it reflecting in the in the, the puddles as well. Picking up a bit of spray there as they apply thrust to get the huge aircraft around the corner there. The biggest passenger aircraft on the planet. And this will be our final departure for the day, folks. Wrapping up what's been an awesome Super Sunday show, the first for 2023. Over 4,000 live viewers tuning in. Over two and a half thousand likes on the YouTube. 55 new VIPs today. You guys have absolutely smashed it today. Thank you very much, everyone, for yeah. tuning in. Great yeah. to be back. Scott, the flight to Dubai is around seven, maybe seven and a half hours, maybe. Yep. And for those who are new, we are Airliners Live. We stream at Manchester Airport every Sunday and Wednesday from 10 a.m. Yep. We also do a flight sim show every Monday, so tomorrow evening from 6 p.m. And usually on Thursdays, which are returning soon, we do a Vancouver live show from 7 p.m. UK time, and that's 11 a.m. Vancouver time. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you are new, and make sure you hit the little bell icon next to that and set notifications to all as to get notifications when we go live so you never miss a moment yeah both our shows from Manchester live from Manchester start at 10 o'clock GMT yep. so. and they're both 4K 4K in fact the flight sim shows are even 4K now as well yeah. if you want to become a VIP help support what we do and keep all our live shows free and, and pay for the upgrades and things like that uh, and also get fantastic emotes in the chat behind the scenes access extra content um, and discounts on merch with certain tiers hit the dollar symbol then click join to become a VIP of the channel or follow the VIP links in the chat from Nightbot which they become one of our fantastic VIPs by clicking this link 
Justin Jackson with the nine months of premium economy. Says amazing rivalry. Have to agree. Cheers, Justin. It looks amazing in the sun as well. Are you in the chat, John? Mr. Fez. I promise Mava Raid if he's on. Loopy just mentioned in 2,700 likes today. Brilliant. That's fantastic. That's astronomical. That. Can we get 3,000 likes before the Emirates departs? Yeah, let's do it. That's a challenge. If you've not clicked like, click like now, guys. Let's see if we can smash 3K before we end the show. Yeah. yeah. It's not out of this world to do that because no, no, no. with so many people tuned in. So if you just close the live chat, click like, come back in. Let's see if we can do it, guys. I'd say we've got about, what, a couple of minutes? Yeah, maybe five minutes. Yeah, they've got a Ryanair holding down a Juliet 1. Five minutes to smash that like, ladies and gents. Come on, challenge set. Dustin returning for nine months, saying uh, amazing livery. Thank you very much, Dustin. Welcome back, dude. Also sending in a 2.99 donation as well. Thank you very much, Dustin. That really does help the channel a lot, mate. And Rachel Dawes with a £2 super chat. Saying Happy New Year's 4K hey, resolution. Rachel. Thank Cheers, you, Rachel. Mate. Love it. Thank you, Rachel. Nearly a hundred away, guys. You've nearly done it. Come Keep on, guys. Keep smashing those likes. Easy clap. Less than a hundred now. That's crazy. Fair play to you guys. Wow, 2,900 already. <laughs> <laughs> you wow. guys are crazy today. I don't think we've ever had 3,000 likes on a live show before. <laughs> Maybe once. I don't know. Aviation interviews. I'm watching from Australia right now and it's midnight, but the A380 takeoff is more important than sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd agree I'd with agree that. I'd agree with that, yep. Mate, the lighting is, oh, it's going to be nuts. This is going to be great. Yes. There we go, 3,000 likes, guys. Wow. Well done, everyone. What Thank a you. what a return for 2023. Yes. Yeah, the legend. First, the first... Sunday show of the of the year. Right? Four point two million in the arena. Woo! Hey, <laughs> that's a good reference. <laughs> so there's going to be a Ryanair seven three seven eight two hundred first out, and I'll be followed by the Emirates. Yeah, the Ryanair's heading out to Malaga. Yeah. Anything on the approach, or is it going to be? Um, I think I think they're going to get the jet two in after that. Yeah. To be honest, there's a Jet 2 and then probably the A380, but there is a 2E behind the Jet 2 as well. I've not seen the mound that busy for a while. It's really busy up there, isn't well, it? Look yeah. at the lighting, that's why. That's why. It brings them in. Yep. Any photographers getting spoiled today? I don't think I could get a better shot of the three, this 380. Oh no, I'm scared to take another shot after the shot I got the other <laughs> day. <laughs> I'd be getting a shot in this light if I were you. I didn't bring my camera, did I? <laughs> Standard. That's it. He's going. He's he, he's given in. <laughs> Mate, the rotation shot on this Matty is going to be naughty. Yeah. Yeah, a 380 is going. Next out. There we go, guys. Enjoy this departure. It's going to be great. We'll turn it up.
Wow. The lighting on that was nuts, wasn't it, chat? Insane. How good was that, ladies and gents? What a way to wrap up a Super Sunday show with that. We had Philip Willis with a 179 Super Chat. Thank you very much, dude. Nick S returning for 12 months of membership wow. with the red tail badge saying first stream of 2023 for me and now I have a tail badge. Best wishes, best, best wishes for 2023. <laughs> West Bishage. West Bishage. <laughs> Melton Wall, whatever it is. I <laughs> hope it's even more successful for you all. Thank you very much. Um, Steve Barnes with a £2 Super Chat. Brilliant show yet again. Thank you, guys. Cheers, Steve. Christina, welcome back for four months yep. of membership saying here comes the chunk. Herbert the Sandler chunk. with a three euro 80 super chat as well. Cheers, and Herbert. Alex Kerr, let's get a very warm Airliners Live welcome to Alex Kerr, a brand new VIP e. of the channel. What a way. What a way to raffle for What a mega show, guys. Awesome. Over 3,000 likes, 56 new members, 4,000 4, viewers. 4,000 viewers watching. Mate, there's 4,000 viewers watching. Still wow. watching. Wow. Gosh. Amazing. Wow. Thank you all so much for watching. Thanks for your support this morning. Been awesome. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Yeah. Gosh. What a crazy, crazy show. What a show. That was good, that one, it? <laughs> <laughs> Big yeah, respect uh, for Andy as well up on the roof there yeah, for yeah, taking yeah, yeah. over. And Matt as well. Big job on Matt. Yeah. So 50-50 did it in the end, didn't we? Yeah. And, Team uh, don't forget, Mr. John Fezzer will be live tomorrow at 6 p.m. Oh, yeah. for the Flight Sim Show in 4K. Hi, 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 hi. And uh, hopefully we'll have Henry back on Thursday. But we're going to be next live from Manchester on Wednesday for your Midweek Madness show. We're going to be testing multicam again, hopefully. Yep. But uh, that's going to wrap us up here today, folks, here from Manchester Airport live. Oh, you've all enjoyed the stream. It's been myself, Martin, Mr. Mod, Matt Smith. Cheers, everyone. And Mr. Andy V, the Garage MC on the roof. Thank you. And we'll see you all tomorrow in the Flight Sim Show, guys. Take it easy. You've been awesome. See you for now. Bye-bye, everyone. See you.